Hey everyone, welcome to the Hubcast number 16. Ooh. I'm Matt and joined, I am joined by <laughs> <laughs> Great Start. Hey! Hey! Good start. Uh, I'm joined by Rich. Hello. Over on the far side. Tom, the lone wanderer returns. Hey! Uh, Olympic <laughs> 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 uh, Ollie. Alright. And Kev. Hello. So, how are we, lads? <coughs> well, all right. Yeah, oh, yeah. We'll cover cripples in the room. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> Politically correct terms. Don't just already. look at me. He said a couple of cripples. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the other one? Tom. He's got, he's got, oh, a, a, oh, he's got a dangly wrong. left arm. <laughs> oh, God, his arm's gone wrong. Look at it. because you're doing that with the Oh, arm. right. Yeah. If you don't do that, it's... it's oh. He's looking, looking a bit like Octo Dad right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, right, that, just, um, that just happened. I did. Oh, God, are we ready? Swing Composed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are we ready to do this? Uh, awesome. Um, so, welcome to Hugger 16. What have we been playing, guys? Um, it's been a week since our last podcast. It has been a it week. Been a week. We've yeah. actually been able to do one once a week. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to start the debate. This is okay. Well, you've been playing off the norm. Well, playing. Okay. Yeah, yeah because cool. I, I'm going to go into a full front of assault. You're going to attack horns. me. It's, it's oh, going to be a no, it's going to be a verbal assault. Yeah, I'm going to well, after you, and then I'm going to shoot. Is this going to be about Metal Gear Five? Yes, it's, yes, it's it like is. the. Did you really enjoy eighth it? One in the yes. top that we've talked right. about Metal Gear. Funny we you cannot say not talk about Metal Gear. <laughs> Funny that you say that you really enjoyed it because uh, Aaron really enjoyed it as well. Mm. Well, they're wrong. Both right. of you are wrong. So, Metal Gear Solid Five, okay. Ground Zeroes. I played it uh, last weekend. Yeah. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed myself. Okay. Did um, you think it was value for money? Um. You can say no. This is this mm. this is where I, yeah I I can completely appreciate that it is not yeah. good value for money. Yeah. Uh, however. So. Um, where mine and Rich's views will definitely differ is okay. the content and the playstyle and everything else. Um, and well, also, I, 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 like, I don't mind the playstyle. Mm -hmm. It's just the content that for me. It was okay. just a hollow experience for me. Fair enough. But gone, go gone, carry on. I well, they, from from <laughs> I shoot you down. <laughs> from, from, from the get go, um, I instantly just fell back in love with with Metal Gear again. Okay. Um, I haven't felt like that since Metal Gear 3 Metal Gear 4 was a little bit of it was a bit all over the place wasn't it yeah yeah um, but you know it just it felt right um, which is also a kind of a kind of a weird contradiction because I hated Keith Sutherland yeah so that's, that's actually something that I liked yeah about it. Like, actually, that's something I love about it I actually thought he brought a kind of physicality the, thing, to the, pro it, the problem I had was um, um, when Snake and um uh, Kaz Miller were in the same scene. Yeah, their voices are not contrasting enough to to have like any sort of engaging conversation. Really? So yeah, for me, because he's quite gruff. Yeah, mm. Not gruff enough. No, I guess. <laughs> we're, we're, talking, we're talking about David. We're talking about David Hater. It's just like kept you waiting, huh? Yeah. And it's like you know, uh, Kiefer's in his whole, whole like. I can't even do his voice. Keep but, Jack Bauer. <laughs> yeah. His voice is is definitely it's not got as much character. I don't think as David, mm. but. You know, I've got my own sort of theories yeah. that they are going to bring David back yeah. as Solid Snake. Surely being a fan, yeah. a massive fan of 24 makes a lot of difference to having him keep his Sutherland as the voice work. Because it would for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I love 24. So. I love 24. Yeah. Yeah. So much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. But, and yeah. This is completely non-game related, but I fucking hate 24. Oh. <laughs> oh, <the pain. laughs> it's not even a right concept. They're it's... meant to be 24 hours and they're 40 minute episodes. To, to be fair, <laughs> It gets, you need toilet it does get really hard. <laughs> it does. It needs to eat as well. <laughs> that's what they don't show. Just thought, no. I, just thought I'd throw that out there. So yeah. literally, like, 20 minutes of every hour, he is just on the shitter. Eating. That's it. Eating at the same Eating. time. Eating. He just gets a, flight, he gets a flight to Australia. It's like... Oh. It's yeah. going in and it's coming Peanuts, out sir? at the same time. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. anyway, so yeah, getting back um, to Metal Gear. Yeah, I, I enjoyed the, the, the world... Uh, I know you say that you didn't think there was enough in there. Um, no, but I didn't for think me, it was, um, personally. I thought it was very small. Yeah, but and very thin, like like really like thinned out like enemies. Like I could just run through a whole bit, and there just be really no have that problem. Around. Like you know, um, if I accidentally tripped off an alarm, Christ, it was like Armageddon down on me. <laughs> like, you know, um, really? I because I found I found it really easy to what, just what difficulty get out of it. <laughs> normal. Uh, and then I did try it on hard, but. Right. I didn't really find it that but challenging. The thing is, like, one, when I did the campaign, 
uh, the mission. I did it in probably, I think it was like 85 minutes or so. Okay. Um, and then uh, I, I went straight back in and I did all the uh, extra ops. I did all the other missions. Uh, yeah. And then I went to do all the collectibles. And by the end of it, my playtime was, I think it was around five to six hours. Yeah. Um, I, only, I just had yeah, a load of stuff to do. Um, it's just, for me, it's not the kind of re replay replayability that I enjoy. Right. Like, just bringing in there what I've been playing recently, well, as of yesterday, is, you know, Trials. Mm -hmm. And that is, you know, obviously, you're just redoing the same thing over and over and over once you make a mistake. If you want to get a perfect run, you have to be no faults, and you have to go. And that mm. is my idea of perfect replayability. Mm. You just want to keep besting yourself, keep going, keep going, keep going. But for me, like I don't know what it was. Maybe it's just that style of game. That I just find it tedious if I have to go back in there and I'm just doing something slightly different. Is it supposed mm. to be like a story-driven game? Because like I'm kind of with you. Trials is kind of like a. There's no real storyline involved. No. It's more of a challenge-oriented game where you you want to do the same thing over and over again, be better. But yeah. for me, Metal Gear, it needs to have kind of a story that think, should surpass a certain amount of hours. The thing about Ground Zeroes is that Ground Zeroes, the mission Ground Zeroes, is the only one that's actually relevant to the story. Everything mm. else is just go back to the same environment and do something slightly different. Mm. That's all it is. And, and it just, for me, like where I'm used to these epic stories and even like the, the initial like prologue levels and stuff mm. of two and three and probably even four, like four was pretty good, wasn't it? Like I'm sure that had a prologue. They're really in depth, you know, and lots, lots happen. You see lots of different <laughs> characters and there's a really good <clears throat> twist and all that kind of stuff. I mean, not saying that there isn't a twist in this one, but it just didn't hit the same impact as those other ones for mm. me. It just kind of... Well, maybe because I need to play through four, so maybe we'll do... Mm. We'll take a couple of days off work, we'll, we'll play through four, and then we'll just immediately do Ground Zeroes. So Have you, you, done, can, you, you can done play Peace it, Walker? You can play it a second game. Have you done Peace Walker? Because you, you, you need to. You need to do Peace Walker, or you need, need to at least know what goes on. Although, um, Ground Zeroes does come with a little... Graphic novel, well, yeah. like explanation of of Peace Walker. So you don't have to play it. You just read Peace, that. Peace, Peace maybe I'll just game. maybe I'll it's just very, leave it. Peace Walker's really good. Maybe so. I've maybe I've just left it too long. To this is the problem. Really see, Ground, uh, Metal Gear is not an easy uh, game, uh, like a uh, game to come in on because mm. you have to know the backstory, yeah, yeah. and the backstory is so extensive. Mm. If I was to tell you right now, if you didn't know anything about Metal Gear, and I, I wouldn't know where to start. Mm. You, you need to. I yeah, games, you know the only. Th I mean, I've only played Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two, so mm. Metal Gear Three is by far the best. It's mm. have, you, have both you guys played games. all the Metal Gears yeah. up to this yes. one as well? Yeah. So yeah. would you guys not benefit? Because in the last podcast I was in, you were talking about um, uh, Naughty Dogs, The Last of Us, and the mm. first time you played it through, you were like, mm, "That was good, really enjoyed myself." But then you said you took like a couple of days off with a mate and then played it again, and you were like, oh, "I had such a better experience." Mm -hmm. Same thing this time, maybe, or not? Well, I, I, well, that'd be the opposite. So it'd be me going back to it and then probably getting a better experience yeah. from it. Cause yeah. Obviously, you know, well, I just, yeah. I just want to round, round off on Metal Gear. No, that's just, cool. uh, I, I <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. just want to say, like, you know, um, I just really, really enjoyed my time with the game. I really that's enjoyed cool. going around it. I, I just enjoyed mechanically. It's just fucking yeah. ridiculously good. The controls are excellent. Like, in it. And yeah, very, the very visuals good. are superb. The sound design is great. Like, mm. yeah, I, yeah. You know, I, I respect your opinion, Rich. I'm, yeah, I'm and, sure and you do. Yeah, I yours. So, yeah, so, <laughs> there's, you know. there's no like right or wrong. But it's, it's, it's just great. Except it's I'm great right, that we can course, have to. You know. It's great we can have debates about this. Yeah, kind of thing, yeah. You know, like you know, no, totally. just po polar opposites, but you know, it's great. But we um, respect each other's opinions. Yeah, sort yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. 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 love hate relationship. <laughs> All right, uh, Tom really hasn't spoken yet, so um, we'll get get what you've been playing. What have you been playing? Um, well, most recent game was probably finishing Infamous. Okay. Which, was, uh, which was good, enjoyed that. It's the first uh, next generation game I've played since like November, <laughs> since release. Um, yeah, <coughs> cool. Uh, other than that, I've just been catching up on old games that I've been neglecting. Um, a lot of PlayStation Plus stuff that's just built up. Oh, I just wanted to, you know, walk through like uh, Bioshock mm -hmm. Infinite, Tomb Raider, Sly Cooper. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's about it. The amount of stuff that I need to play through is just building up to the point where I might just have to either let it fall by the wayside mm. or uh, just accept that the new next generation games just aren't going to get played as quickly as they should. 
That's a yeah. tough yeah. choice yeah. to make. Yeah. 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 Jeez, I wouldn't <laughs> like to make that choice. Hey, <laughs> honest. <laughs> you need to like sort out like a timetable and be like, yeah, like well, if, if I can diarise games. Then, well, I was saying to Ollie just before uh, we did the podcast, if if I can, if I can basically uh, nail down those three games and get those finished. Bear in mind that I've played two of them already, but uh, just wait, I'll go through them again. Because uh, I'm cool like that. Uh, if, if I can nail all three of those and get them down before Watch Dogs comes out, ah. I'm basically yeah, up easy. to date. I've got easy. a month. You can yeah, do a month and, month. Month. and then there's, you know, then there's um, uh, Blackgate. No, not Blackgate. Uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I want to mm. go back through that. Yeah. And Grand Theft Auto 6. A whole load of old play- PS3 games that basically I just never picked up at the time and would just like to play through. Yeah. Right? I'm just sort of hoping to take advantage of the, the lull in next generation gaming at the moment. It's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, mate. Uh, <laughs> um, Strike Suit Zero, which yeah. did the review for, which yeah, was, cool. oh man, that was so surprisingly good. Yeah, it looks yeah. wicked, man. Yeah, really good, the thing is, I didn't actually know much about it until, I don't know, three weeks before it came out. I started like research about it. I was like, this is good, this is good. <laughs> and the matter was like, got a review code for Strike Suit Zero. I was like, mine! <laughs> <laughs> so, so I started playing that, and um, yeah, oh, I really enjoyed it. The um the controls are slick. It reminded me of the dog fights from Halo Reach. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which like if you played Halo Reach, like I said, you need to play Strike Two Zero because it's it's almost exactly the same. Oh, cool. Except it's like a fully fleshed out game, but a cross between sort of Gundam and Halo Reach dogfight, Sounds which good. is cool. Sounds good. And fortunately, because it's really really good, and unfortunately, because it's hard, Dark Souls Two, <laughs> which. Ah. Which is just, I just don't have enough time in the day. Really? Or, yeah, all the patience to die over and over again. And I just get to the point where I like my TV too much to be able to have to throw the controller through it. And I'm sure a lot of people yeah. probably disagree because there's probably people that are like, what the hell are you on about? It's just rubbish in it. I'm, like, I'm absolutely fine with it. And apparently Dark Souls 1 is a lot harder than, than the second one. Really? But I'm playing the second one, never playing the first. I'm like, I'm never ever going to play the first one, no. and it's a shame because when I'm playing it, I'm like, "Oh, this is amazing! I really want to progress," but I can't because it's just too hard. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I, I've started playing Demon Souls. Yeah, uh, the I first played, one. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. played a little bit of it, but it's my understanding that you can play through the whole game. You can actually go like straight to the, like the end. Like, no, obviously, you can't physically, but if you didn't level up at all, mm. you could technically, it would take you hours, but you could technically like beat the last boss even at your low level. Yeah. It's all about how you play it. It's like yeah. having the skill to like dodge and block and yeah. whatever. And that is, I mean, I've only played a little bit of it and I suck at it. So <laughs> like, it obviously takes you know, a long time to, it's, it's the one, get to grips with. It's the one series, especially Dark Souls, because I think the art style just sort of changed that little bit mm. to make it really enticing. And there's something about this like really adult, dark, gritty, disgusting RPG like yeah. game, and I'm like, yeah, and mm. I sort of watch people play it, and I go, no, yeah. <laughs> no, no it's, it's, I'm actually, I'm actually afraid of it. You it's know? really I know, intimidating. I know mm. where I'm not it welcome, is. and I'm not welcome. I managed no. to get in past the, the first boss thing in Demon Souls the other day, and that was quite intimidating. I but overstayed, I overstayed my welcome when I, when I with Dark Souls when I walked out of Sainsbury's with the case. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I I uh, I couldn't even really play much through Skyrim. I, no, I yeah. didn't really enjoy Skyrim that's too much. That's, and yeah. so that's exactly exactly what I mean. So I, I wouldn't even see. I found Skyrim. Yeah, I'm the sort of person just... who puts like I could be honest. Skyrim and Oblivion just puts the difficulty down to the absolute minimum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I'm a fucking badass. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna actually enjoy this game. Yeah. I don't care about level enough. But I think the difference I found with with something like Dark Souls, watching Dark Souls gameplay versus actually playing Skyrim is Skyrim kind of builds the difficulty enough so yeah. that if you if you play it enough of a certain type of game or certain type of mission so if you go out and start hunting things you you get good at it mm. whereas in Dark Souls it's just a case it of it leads you down yeah that's right it leads you down one away. path and like that one path is like right you go this way and you don't go anywhere else until like you've done it yeah. and it it's cool because the more and more you die, there were there were points where I was like, no, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it was yeah. back like in the, it reminded me of, like the old school like Mega Drive games where you had like no save points, yeah. and like if you died or like if you played a Sonic and you had like three lives and you died, that was it. You're back to the beginning of the game. It kind of reminded me of that, yeah, and yeah. I knew it was gonna be hard from the moment I started because 
your first death, you get an achievement. It says, you died, you get an achievement going, well, for the Dark Souls. And you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I see. It's, you know, it's inevitable. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah, it just prides itself on being just ridiculously tough, which is cool. If you're up for a challenge, I recommend Dark Souls. Um, but that's what I've been playing at the moment, and that's why it's taken up so much of my time. Yeah. I still haven't got into South Park, but... Yeah, I need yeah, to do it. I know, yeah, I know. Well, 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 it's a nice little sort of segue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've been playing um, Stick of Truth pretty much solidly for about the last three days. Awesome, and it's so good. It's like it's RPG light. You know, yes. it's not. Yeah, it's it is an RPG because you have a class system and a level up and. You, you get look magical after power, your own and, character yeah, and you get to nurture it, and you know, just and just you know, in that sense, it's an RPG. But just the fact that you're playing an episode of South Park is enough for it to be amazing because it's, it's just it's, it's visually so it's good, it? perfect. It's everything yeah. a South Park game should be. It should just look like the TV show. It doesn't need to be in 3D. It doesn't need to be fancy. It just needs to be South Park. Yeah. And it's just that's everything exactly that it is. It. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very funny. I think that's why the N64 version of the South Park game kind of failed for me. Because oh. it wasn't... No, yeah, it, it wasn't quite... quite first person shooter, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, yeah. it was okay. There was, was a couple of funny right. jokes on it, but in terms of actually feeling like a South Park game... All, all the South Park games are very disposable. Like that go-kart game. Yeah, the racer yeah. for the oh, PS1. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, terrible. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this this yeah. is something else. I saw it for 25 quid in Sainsbury's the other day, so if you haven't played it, even if you've got a PS4 or a 360 uh, or an Xbox One, just yeah, go and pick it up. 25 quid. It's, it's brilliant. Um, so I've been playing that. I had like, time I finished Infamous, which was extremely enjoyable. Yeah. I think I'm going to give it a month or two and then I might go through it again yeah. on yeah. Evil. What? Oh, did you play Good? Oh, I played as Good first. I was, I was Evil. Evil first? Yeah. <laughs> I, went, I went the, the path less tread. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's probably it's it's easier. Being are you going to replay it though? At no, some point, yeah, but I'm, I want to give it a luck, break, mate. though. Good luck, good luck if you're going to do it on expert, doing it good. You did, you did the wrong I didn't around. say I was going to do it on expert. <laughs> I said I was going to do it on good. Like, well, where's, uh, where's the challenge, man? Right? Where's the challenge? <laughs> Shout it to easy. So oh. I've, I, I'm about halfway through expert playthrough uh, evil. Uh, I'll pick up again maybe next week or something. So I'm, 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 I'm playing that looks... bad boy. I'm going to do it. I just can't bother. It looks great. It's great. It is good. It looks great. It plays great. Um, it's got a good story. It's got a fun story. Um, some of the missions get a little bit like, uh, you know, mm. to really get the most out of this, I have to do everything. Mm. So you just kind of go, right, I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to do everything. Right now I can rack on with the other bits. But, um, but yeah, really good game. Um, and I think I said, was it in the last podcast? I said uh, the first thing I'm going to do when I get in is I'm going to download Hotline Miami. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, you did. I just did that. And, <laughs> good plan. Um, oh. Jeez. It's what so a game. Good. So good. What a game. It's so simple. It's so enjoyable. And like you say, the replayability. Replayability. That's a perfect example again. Yeah. Oh, thoroughly enjoyable. I, I, I literally, I without simulation, see. I just just went. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but like... There's just a pool. Yeah. <laughs> There's a pool. Um, I, I didn't expect it to, to have a... A story, if you know what I mean. I expected it just to be a top-down thing, like mm. go here, kill this person. I thought that's all it would be. Right. But um, there, there was actually a really cool little story in there. Soundtrack. Oh, the soundtrack. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could I could go on for a long time about the soundtrack. Mm. Um, it's it's incredible. I, I'm so literally good. willing to sell my soul for two. I can't wait for the second <laughs> one. Is this on three sixty? Is it? Yeah. What, what should be? Is it? Yes. I don't know. Do you know? Jesus. But it's on the PS, PS3 or 360 it's though? It's on the PS3 at the moment. It's, it's on Steam. Oh, right. I got it for a oh it's on Steam? It's on Steam. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to get it blasted. Got yeah. it for a free rush of PS Plus. Yeah. Oh, mm. sounds good. Yeah, it's amazing, right. mate. <laughs> God damn, um, it's good. So I think that's been my, my three games. Um, dipping in again, in and out of Titanfall. Dipping? Full, dipping. Mm. Just, dipping your I just haven't played Titanfall in a while. Do you know, I just... Oh, get back. Yeah. I, I cannot... Oh, but isn't it like the sort of reason to have an Xbox One? I didn't, oh, like the re- I didn't like the reason that you no. I didn't like the reason that you got wipes. It was like welcomes, like you're a second generation pilot. You lose everything. Oh, you've done. That? <laughs> yeah, ah. yeah. I got, I got second. Re- you get the second generation pilot. It's like, oh, actually, no. I take it back. It actually gives you the choice. It says you can carry on and just like you know enjoy Titanfall right. with, all, with all your skills. Right, yeah, and be level fifty, and you'll always stay that level, which I thought was really cool. Because some people just like aren't fussed about. Oh, I've got to level up. I've got to level up. Got to be yeah. better than everyone else. Sometimes people just like you know what? I'm comfortable with the weapons that I've earned, the skills that I've got, with the mm. perks that I've earned. Yeah. That's what I want. That's how I want to enjoy Titanfall. But for obviously other people, if they want to level up, 
they get their memory wipes and they have to start from scratch. Is and it, is I it was like Dragon Wipes nice rights though? Like saying your second generation. That's, that's yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. it is. It's on the side yeah. of your on the side of your name when you're in a pre lobby. It's um, it's got nothing it's if you haven't. Yeah, it's got nothing if you haven't run yeah. over. And then as soon as you go over, you get one, yeah, and a okay. two, and a three, and all the way to ten. Yeah. Mm. Jesus, the same as Call of Duty. I saw someone at ten, and I was just like, dude, way too much time. <laughs> I'm what have you been doing? If I ever get to level fifty, if I ever get to there, I'm just gonna stay at level fifty. Yeah. I mean, mm. take, it's actually one of those games where with Call of Duty, I wanted to to get to that prestige because I wanted to experience that kind of thing. But mm. it's that was mainly because I actually wasn't. I wasn't really enjoying actually playing the game. Yeah. My yeah. time for I don't really care what level I am. I just love playing that game. Yeah. So long and this now? is why I just can't. Sorry. How long has it been out now? Uh, a month. A month. About a month. Yeah. Oh, was yeah. it fourteenth of March? Yeah. Fourteenth yeah. of March. It's just a game that I can't not put down. It's mm. not. It's not a game. But sometimes it will. Sometimes I'll put it into it. Oh, you know, it's really late, but I want to play a game. I'll put time for in because I can just play two or three matches and yeah. Yeah. I can go to bed feeling pretty good. But the trouble is, you put it in, you play two or three matches, and you go, oh, I'll just play one more. Mm. Oh, I'll just play one more. And all of a sudden, you go, oh, fuck it, supper's one, and I've got up at six o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I do it's, find the waiting time between addictive. games quite a long time. Yeah, the it's lobby like can a take a while. It's like yeah. 80 seconds. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. But I do find, though, that because it, you wait so long to get into a game, you're, you don't. Obliged. You, but you don't get to like the match, and all of a sudden it goes, sorry, the host connect, disconnected. So mm. like, no, that's you get true. none of that. Because you're waiting for your match for so long, people dip in and out and bring new people yeah, in. Yeah, that's true. It's. Um, that face was just... That was really, really special. It was like yeah. a Coke face. That's my gaming at the moment. Mm, definitely. Right, so, uh, yeah, Rich. Uh, yeah. Uh, Apart I, from Trials Well, Metal Gear. I've been playing Trials. I haven't played Metal Gear since, well, like a month ago or whatever, whenever it came out. Uh, oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Demon Souls, I guess, a bit of. But um, most interestingly... The most interesting thing is Trials yesterday. Oh, so that was that's superb. So much fun. I haven't actually played the other Trials before. No. Um, so I'm totally fresh to it. And it's just so addictive. I'm completely addicted already. Yeah, it is good. Like crap over oh, there. I, I <laughs> want to say something. It's, 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 it's just that no. snail no. morphing. If you give one person a sweet, you have to give us all a sweet. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yes, it is. First, first person. First person. <laughs> so yeah, Trials is awesome. Go buy it because it's. Amazing. Cool. Excellent. Uh, well, I'll round off with the rest of what I've been playing. Then yeah, I've just been having, I've been an absolute indie fest. Okay. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been playing Spelunky. I've been playing Tower for Ascension. I've been playing. Oh shit. Uh, I've been playing more Rezo Gun actually, which is quite nice. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I've been playing um, mm -hmm, Broken Sword oh, on the Vita. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I miss point pointing clicks. So uh, and nice. what because Wolf Among Us is just so achingly slow, which is actually out now, which I will need to get on. Chapter three, mm -hmm. yeah. Chapter three is out now. Are yeah. they bringing a disc version of it out? Should do. Yeah, yeah they will <coughs> do, but it's inevitably. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait. I think I'll play. You've got such an aversion to download there. stuff, haven't you? <laughs> PS Plus <laughs> has completely turned me around on that. Yeah. But there's a whole argument, like you know, music and movies and everything they moved over to downloads mm. so why not games but my whole thing about download games is that like it's been proven like even with like GTA 5 that if you've got the disc version it runs more efficiently because it's got a couple of sources to read off of and it's it can share that load mm. over a couple of things it's, yeah it depends on you know, I just I like it depends on stuff. how it's been programmed yeah, definitely but it just seems that like it it hasn't completely sold it to me yet mm. but well, like time to fall is not going to be downloadable like, it came with a download code um, with, with your with your bundles and I will stand up for the fact that the disc version is the only way to buy that game yeah, yeah. because you put the disc version in it might take an hour two hours to install because it's all really? multi yeah for me because it's, it's all multiplayer hour, sure. <coughs> it took me about an hour it's not coming up on uh, it's not going to be done on games on demand no because it can't <coughs> run well enough Travis um, Travis got his Xbox One the other day and obviously he got his Titan 4 as a download code yeah uh, and it takes about four hours apparently doesn't it? it well our internet is notoriously slow for downloading things so it took it took Travis nine and a half hours Jesus to download Titan 4 I've heard that, that Microsoft actually cap the download <coughs> and upload speeds as well though, so. yeah so yeah, we, I tried Earthen yeah, so I tried so. putting the Ethernet I took it downstairs Ethernet it thinking oh that will speed it up nope 
Mm. Nine hours. Yeah. yeah. And can you imagine an eleven year old? You get your new Xbox. Yeah. The game he wants to play is Titanfall. Cool. Let's just download it. It's probably going to take a couple of hours. All yeah. right. I'll go out and play. Went out and played. Came back. Ten percent. Yeah. Oh. And he yeah. was just like, "Was the was when the am t- I going to be?" That play? is an eternity for a kid. Was the Titanfall bundle out when it first <coughs> arrived? It yeah. wasn't. Was it? Was it? Yeah, it was. On its release date, because of all the problems that they had with Microsoft going down. Remember, like, yeah, it crashed yeah. massively on the release of Titanfall. So imagine getting, like, the Titanfall bundle and then the Xbox crashing and trying to download it. It's like... <laughs> this is no, the no, ultimate no. thing. not a good first impression, is it? No. 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 But <laughs> that said, as soon as he got playing it, all the anger just went... <laughs> just disappeared mm. yeah. instantly. I don't know what it is about that game, that every single time I play a game, I'm completely 100% amused by every single part of it. Like, you know, even uh, ejecting <coughs> from the Titan, every mm. time I'm like... Whee! Yeah, like, I just love it. it just yeah. it, it always feels slick and it always feels like fresh. It is yeah. fun. I've, I've played it since it's come out now. And, uh, it's it's enjoyable. It's, brilliant. Mm. Uh, it's the little things. Yeah. What other games have you been playing, Matthew? Uh, love to Us. Ah. Oh yeah. Again, still video still. on the Games Hub. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. YouTube, yes, check yeah. it out. Matt playing that. I've got quite good, I'd say. No, so sweet. Yeah. So is there actually levels to it, or is it um, like... it's basically just uh, one continual thing? Okay. Um, when you load up the game, I you, like that. It's That's... just literally a battleship, and then you fly off, and then you start. That's how you start every time. Sweet. There's no missions. Everything's just objective based. Okay. So like you know, kill a battleship, kill thirty flyers, or mm-hmm. kill a blimp, all that kind of stuff. That's and sweet. It's just ridiculously addictive. Yeah. And. Yeah, I don't really like associating fun with Nazis, but <laughs> sometimes <Yeah>. they're fun. <laughs> you, know, I, you know, we could say stick of truth. It's got zombie Nazis in it. Uh, it does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Yes. All the classic Call of Duty is they have Nazis in it. It's true. Good. It is. True. It's true. It is. Wolfenstein. Yeah. yeah. I'm not which fun which I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to in Wolfenstein. Can't oh. wait for that come out. That's mm. pretty good. Absolutely. I'm very Next much month. enjoying this. Sweet. I'm tempted. Yeah, that that week is ridiculous. We'll go over that in a minute, but yeah, that week is ridiculous. Um, but I've been playing too much to mention now, and we've been speaking about what we've been playing for twenty eight minutes. Wow, this is so, going to be there is a lot of us on. on. <laughs> there is a lot of us on. So. Yeah, yeah, probably the most ever. This yeah. this is the yeah. most bump. This, that's why I, I actually I was going to call it the Mammoth Cast instead of the Hard <laughs> Cast at the start. So. Hi guys, welcome to the Mammoth Cast. The Mammoth Cast, <laughs> the Mammoth Sixteen Cast. <laughs> if it's going to be Matt Mammoth, can I ask one massive Mammoth favour? Yeah. Don't go for Wes. Jesus. Go, Jesus go, right. right. We'll hold the. You can carry on. I don't mind. Yeah. Don't mind. Just all good. It's all Drinking good. too much medicine. Yeah. Oh uh, well, it's it was. Been... Yeah, it was the painkillers. That's what it was. Painkiller medicine. There you go. Here he goes. Off he goes. <coughs> don't let him back in. Yeah, we're not no, going to let him. Not. You're out. Is there a lock on the door? Yeah. Don't come back. I'm coming back. Don't. You're fired. Don't. Okay. So, cool. Kev's a wanker, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we've been playing. Back. That's what we've been playing. That's what we've been playing. That's what we've been playing. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's move on to the news. The news. <laughs> news, <laughs> news <laughs> talk, What's new? Talk news Rambert. to me. Talk news. Uh, dun, uh, all the news cliches. The Hot O'Clock News. With Matthew Lambert. me. We'll start with arguably the biggest couple of bits of news involving Naughty Dog. Okay. Uh, last podcast or the podcast before, can't remember. Sorry. Uh, the Last of Us PS4 was announced. Like, yes. And now it has been announced. It was announced like the day after we. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I was gonna uh, say. Yeah. Yeah. So that was perfect timing. <laughs> Our last podcast I was like, yeah, so it's gonna come out. Can it? Maybe it will come out. It has come out. It, it, well, it will come out in June-ish time. June I think. Thirtieth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, <coughs> how, how how do we feel now? It's real. I don't care. I'll, I don't care. I'm quite up. happy with it existing, to be honest. Because at least if they if they were gonna make like re-release a game, at least make it a game as good as the last of us. Yeah. It's so at, le- at least it's like you know that game that was worth paying twice for. Now you can pay twice for it. Well, I'm not going so, to personally, but like might do. It's gonna push more if it's gonna have the DLC. Console, 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 no, if you didn't play on PS3. <laughs> Oh, oh, let's no. start the news again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 it's all about Kev. Oh, I'm Kev, welcome to Games. 
Uh, yeah, I think we voiced our Last of Us yeah. opinions on it I, last, I don't last week. Care. I think it's. I wouldn't pay fifty quid for it. It's going to be no. Perfect. But there's rumour that they're apparently thinking about rumour mill. Rumour. I heard a rumour rumour mill that they're thinking about discounting the price for people who've already bought it on PS3. No idea how that would work. How are they going to do that? Unless, I guess so, unless you have like your, a barcode or through yeah. your, maybe through your PS network somehow. Well, I've I've got the season pass, so surely that's evident enough. Evidence enough. I haven't. Ooh. I've not. No the only, I tell you, the only reason I would probably pick it up again, I probably will pick it up again, to be honest. But it would be because it will have the DLC on it. Yeah. Uh, and it would yeah. be like, I want to play through it again anyway. So it, if I'm going to play it again, rather than just play through again on PS3, I may as well mm. pick it up on PS4, play it with a slightly <clears throat> refined look to it. I can't imagine it looking any better. But then I suppose that's. Well, I said that about Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah. That's Tomb, Raider right. Tomb Raider did did look better apparently the it PS4 is. version yeah. of Tomb Raider is like the actual definitive version I don't know why they're saying that about all the games hand movement like eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you can't see anything your hand's buggered so you're <laughs> <thing again>. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, talk, talking of uh, of Left Behind actually um, it seems like I just want to pick fight with everyone okay but, um, Neil revealed it for the site mm-hmm. and he loved it and I hated it so um oh. Oh, Neil's not here to defend himself, so just go for it, dude. Maybe you've your opinions are just wrong. You, you were wrong about maybe. Ground Zero, yeah. so maybe you're wrong about this. <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's just that the audience would take away from this. Yeah, probably. Matt just never, never, uh, never. You know. He likes indie games oh, just, that no one likes. Yeah, just <laughs> play indie games all day. Yeah, just just shit. Just <laughs> Nazis, <laughs> Nazis in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Nazis in the boat and <laughs> playing some archery game. Oh dear! But it's—I uh, think it's one of these weird things, isn't it? I mean, I don't know—I I don't know anything about what the DLC is like, no. so I don't know anything about the. St- I mean, I, I, I right. know it's set before Last yeah. of Us, yes. and you well, play as Ellie, and, and that's. Um, dude, I'll lend you my PS. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You've got yeah, to. You've, you've got to. Back out the room again. Yeah, yeah us, I'll do it you've, di- you've, you've, you've disrupted the flow of the podcast. <laughs> it's now become an absolute mess. You haven't played The Last of Us. I, I feel offended. What are you doing? Genuinely offended. He said he lends me. Yeah, I'll lend you my PS3. You, <laughs> it has to be done. Yeah. To yeah, be done. You will love it. Excellent. Um, but is it not worth me waiting for a PS4 version then? Actually, yeah, wait to yeah. get a PS4 yeah. version and buy it. Because I almost feel like with Tomb Raider, I kind of wish I would have waited for the definitive version. If I knew it was coming out, I probably would have done. But, yeah. but then you wouldn't have bought it twice. <laughs> well, that's true. Mm. I actually got two copies. I actually got two copies of it. Tesco accidentally put two copies of Tomb Raider in my desk. Sweet. I gave one to Aaron. <laughs> That's nice of you. I know, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> so, so yeah, I don't, I don't know really anything about the story. So, you know, for all I know, it might actually just be okay. Sometimes, yeah. some I must admit, sometimes I think that was probably. I can't think what it is, but or what game it was. But I remember downloading some DLC, thinking, yeah, you know, expansion on the story for this, and played it. And went, well, that was crap. <laughs> You've just ruined the game that I thought was really. I can't. Tomb Raiders. I'll have to. It's going to come to me at some random moment, and I'm just going to go. Ah! And I'm going to say the game. I think, I think to a certain extent, um, and I hate drawing co- you know comparisons to like Marmite situations because I don't really think you either love something or you hate something. Some people right. are in the middle, but yeah. with with DLC, I think there is kind of quite similar to that because you're either a DLC person or you're not. Some mm-hmm. people just yeah. leave it there and don't bother. I'm a DLC person. I play everything. I'm yeah, a, I'm a leader. I haven't played Burial Sea episode two yet. I haven't played so Burial Sea episode one. It's, be, it's better than episode one. Okay, that's something I played. Yeah. I played yeah. episode, episode one. Mm-hmm. Oh, episode point. two is better than one because one's quite short. Mm. Two's way longer. It's at least twice as long. Wow. Way more varied. Yeah. Um, and the story is what story wraps up the entire Bioshock and, and not so just Infinite not just Bioshock the whole thing as one entity is wrapped so up good. and done so it's crazy but it's hard to believe that they've done that in like a, a DLC, DLC. Yeah. a DLC yeah. Yeah. You know, like... it's, it's the one thing to be fair the only thing that I really want to play DLC wise is Bioshock but every time I think oh right yeah so I'm going to go and you know buy the season pass or buy episodes one and two I then sort of look at something else and go, ooh. Mm. Oh, if you haven't thing. played Blood Dragon for Far Cry 3, I'd massively recommend that. I've got, yeah, I haven't completed great. it. That's I've great. got it. Uh, I need to get as a, yeah, as a DLC, but that's I'm just playing, phenomenal. I'm always playing it like when there's like loads of light in the room or something. I can't see what's going on. It's such a dark <laughs> thing. I have to like play it at night or something with all the lights out because like, yeah. I can't see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm just going to turn it off play it later. <laughs> anyway, yeah. let's get back to Naughty Dog. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, 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 so
Amy Hennig. I don't know who you know. I don't, th- I don't know if you know who she is, but she was oh, the yes. lead director or creative director, writer of the Uncharted franchise. Yeah. She has left. Yeah. Forced out. Forced out. Left. Forced out. <laughs> left. Um, and after that, creative director Justin, I can't remember his second name, sorry, um, he's also left. Um, oh, which has kind of left a lot of people like, what the hell is going on with Uncharted 4? Mm. Um, so... Hopefully something is, awesome. Is, is there trouble in paradise? I don't, you know, mm. is there trouble in paradise? Think, is there something to be said? Sometimes people just want a different job. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily mm. mean that the job that they've currently got is awful or it's mm. disastrous. It just means that that person's probably a little tired of doing four I think, Uncharted games and when you know what I could mm. do? I think the interesting, or something. The, the, yeah. the interesting thing is, is that Amy was silent and then she got picked up by Visceral and then, but Justin openly said yeah I'm, I'm leaving for Riot Games see you later so I think he left off his own bat and mm. Amy was probably cast out to mm. be honest mm. um, Neil Druckmann and Bruce Straley they're taking over on Child 4 mm. so they're the guys who wrote Last of Us they've said oh, that they've said so that it's going to be, be no better. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, they said there's going to be no production halting in no. in, in Uncharted Four. They said to, they keep on going. And, and to be fair, those two also did Uncharted Two, which is the best Uncharted game in my opinion. Oh, so, mm. yeah. I, was that I, Among Thieves? Yeah. Among yeah. Thieves, yeah. Mm. yeah. So yeah, I yeah. I mean, a lot of people are worried. I know what you're doing. Of course, yeah. of course, they, they know exactly. What the amount doing. of really good games that have come out of studios where we have no idea who, who actually made it, like the individuals involved. Um, no, and it's just like just just because two people you go oh okay that person from that company left just like well the mm. thing it could easy maybe be replaced by someone who can actually do it just as well if not better they just yeah, haven't sure. had the chance yet sure but you, you know you for me anyway you know when I heard Amy Hennig's name I associated her with Uncharted instantly because she wrote all of them and she was brought in to do mm, Uncharted yeah. so mm-hmm. yeah I, yeah but we'll four games is a long time yeah some yeah. Pe- some people like even though they're still working on them still writing for them and they don't want to admit that they've actually had enough mm. there probably are people within the company like probably higher up than Amy Henning was that actually see it and think like you're losing interest here yeah. and like she might be speaking to people around the company and be like you know what like, oh, I really want to do something else and they'd be like She's you know, people doing. people pick up on it. And, you're not you know, into it. You're not going to give it your best. That's it's right. Not going to be a fresh blood. Yeah. yeah. There's people. There's people in the games blood. industry. I think which they either get to a certain point where they've invested so much time in a long series of games, like the Halo series. Mm. They probably got to like Halo Three, and after Halo Three, I bet there were so many people in Bungie that mm. just thought, you know what, like I've had enough, and they leave on their own back, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's probably a lot of people that think like, I'm going to carry on, but they actually lose interest, mm. and other people pick up on it but they can't admit it to themselves and that's where these things like business change it's like I can't remember what the guy was but they made like a statement to IGN didn't they about about Amy and he was like mm. these things happen in business mm. there's nothing else to like pick at yeah, yeah. It's, yeah uh, think, the thing is she, she's on her feet now she's yeah. joined Visceral and she's now working on a new Star Wars game Dead Space 4 Dead Space 4 Oh, Dead Space got run to the ground as much as I love it. Oh, no, the third one. I want Star Wars. I want it. I know, I really like the third one. Really? Yeah, I really like it. I just think it's just, it just, it ran its course to the point where it's like, if they did Dead Space 4, what would it actually be? If any, would it be any different? Well, they took, yeah, but what about Resident Evil 4? Yeah, but they should have, they should have stopped at Resident Evil 4. Was it Resident Evil 5 that was crap? Yeah, Resident Evil 4 was good. And Resident Evil 6. No, 5, I actually, I did like, but it's not as good as 4. Mm. And then six came out, and it really was just to put this to put it to death. Uh, so quit or, while your head's off. Yeah, you should have quit at four and been yeah. like, "That was a change." Yeah, and not call the next. Just yeah, they shouldn't have just yeah. called it Resident Evil. That's really. fair enough. Anything like it. We'll like Breaking on. Bad. But now they're doing. <laughs> not one. But now they're now they're doing apparently Resident Evil Seven or the next oh. next one. So it's not. It's going back to the true horror roots. Oh, so they, they always to, say that they yeah. go back to the roots. I, I'm pretty sure at some point they said six was going back to the true horror yeah. roots. But um, if they do with that with seven though, and actually do it like Resident Evil One, Resident Evil Zero, two, yeah. three, that sort of era, then that would have been that would be absolutely fantastic. I Just think. so that I don't, we don't go too much off on the tangent. But my problem with Resident Evil Six is the fact that to do it properly is fifty hour campaign. That At is what point ridiculous. is a fifty hour Resident Evil game a good idea? <laughs> no. Especially, not, no, especially when each part's like two hours long and it's all shit. <laughs> <laughs> each chapter yeah. for Leon's campaign, I remember thinking, right, I'll put this in, I'll just play through one chapter because a chapter's about mm. an hour, maybe. Right. Two and a half hours that first chapter was, and then uh. the second chapter it was two hours. The next chapter, two hours, 42 I was going to play a cult with a mate, and I literally, <sighs> I went round, 
played one chapter and we were like, well, that's that time. He was like, well, I can't come around 50 times. Yeah. I haven't got time for that in a year. <laughs> it's going to take me like two years <laughs> on a regular basis to complete this game. I Nightmare. can't be bothered with that. Right. Let's News. Go. Yeah. Jeez. We'll continue. We'll continue. Okay. Um, <laughs> Bungie has fired <laughs> Martin O'Donnell. Who is the famed composer of the Halo franchise and was working on Destiny? Destiny. Crap. Destiny. Have we now got to the point Who where so, someone's position going is just automatically fired? Mm. Yeah. Get away, oh, you cheeky um, <laughs> well, so, well, basically, he uh, he well, he didn't know. Well, he didn't know why it was. He just fired. tweeted. He just tweeted, fired. didn't he? Fired. fired. Yeah. Um, to be honest, this is a non-news story for me. To be honest, because, composer leaves company. Well, no, because if, yeah, I know he was synonymous with with the Halo franchise, but the fact is, Bungie said, well, obviously said to him, "We don't like your music for Destiny." Mm. Bye. Yeah. So surely he's finished the music it. for Destiny by now, though. Well, he, they, he must they've have written the whole. Well, well, yeah. And if he brought something to him, then they were, they were like, "No, sorry." Yeah, but it's too late in the game to change nah, what he's actually written for Destiny. Not. They can change stuff all the yeah. time. Well, you know, music, music's very. Give me five minutes. Give me five minutes. He must have spent about three yeah. years on that music, though, for someone to just turn around and go. Is, what have you spent your three yeah. years doing? Yeah, well, exactly. Have oh, yeah. you been wanking on a keyboard? <laughs> You've brought us chopsticks. <laughs> I'm going to get out of the way. Hold on, I'm going to hit the demo button. Uh, DJ, button. DJ, yeah. dictionary, well, DJ, maybe, DJ. Maybe, one, 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 maybe, one, two, two, two. Maybe Bungie just cottoned on to the fact that Neil, Neil Damage is, um, as a composer in Halo 4 actually did a fantastic job. Yeah. Like, he, you know, um, Marlon O'Donnell had nothing to do with Halo 4, really. And... Yeah. That soundtrack was probably one of the best Halo That's soundtracks phenomenal. I've heard, That's and it didn't even include the battle theme from Halo. It's, the same, no. it's like it didn't even end with the game. Like, da, 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 da. It's like I didn't even need it. Isn't that it's the just... only good track really from the, the soundtrack? I'm no, 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 no. I'm not a huge fan of the Halo soundtrack in the first place, apart from the main big theme. Yeah, the main theme on the main there was a lot. Yeah. Like there, the only time I had, yeah, you're right. Actually, the only time I actually felt like there was variety was with ODST. When it started doing the whole like with the with the hub world thing oh, yeah. in the uh, like utopian sort of uh, yeah that was kind of cool but like, yeah you're right I can appreciate the whole yeah. he's no Gary Shyman mm. by a shot <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah sweet there you go he's gone fair enough um, so Slayers. yeah apparently Destiny has not been affected by this change and good. I'm, 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 they're smart people it, was, it sure. wasn't his destiny oh. Oh. So not only did he, Ollie, did he not Ollie. only did he hurt the flow of the podcast, he cows. hasn't played Last of Us. He's got a bad back. He also makes shit puns. <laughs> <laughs> just want to make like a far show reference. Or just I'll give you count. Oh no, let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, right, next item: um, Borderlands. The pre sequel has been announced. Uh, yep. It's not Borderlands Three though. No, it's in between. And this is and, and this is. Yeah, oh, this is um, opposite Tales of the Borderlands as well. So there's going to be a Tales of the Borderlands. Oh, so Tales of the Borderlands is completely different. Yeah, mm. I know that's Telltale, but it's mm. it's still oh, a Borderlands game. Time. Oh yeah, it's still a Borderlands. Oh, I see, right. So yeah. I just yeah, okay, that's fine. Is it what um, consoles it's coming out on? Oh, Xbox 360 older. and PS3. Cool. Why is it cool? Why? Well, because um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a way bigger installer base. They're saying why, if they, if they release a new console, I know it's. It's, mm. no, it's business. <laughs> it's business, but oh, come on. Just... No, no. But if they release, they would point out that if they release it on the new consoles exclusively, they yeah. sell less copies, even if every person bought one. Mm. Then they sold yeah. copies of Borderlands Two. They're mm. absolutely right. Yeah. So it's, it'd be suicide. No, I still. Yeah. yeah. I know, but it's just. I'm still it's shocked. Like six months into this next gen, I'm more. I'm still shocked you, yeah. that Gearbox are actually still making games at the moment because there's still that court case going on oh, really? about colonial marines oh, really oh god you, you, you must know the story I know it I know it oh, I didn't realise yeah. it was still going on <laughs> did, you yeah, say, like, did you just say that word yeah like colonial <laughs> marines they were being paid or they were being given money by Sega to make colonial marines and they were using that money to make Borderlands 2 which is why colonial oh. marines is so terrible because they actually just went ah, I'm not going to bother with that Oh, right. We're, we're going to fund the game that we want to make with the money that you're giving us for ah, another game. Because yeah. they did actually say in a recent article about, about Borderlands, the pre-sequel, saying that they were working on something else. Mm -hmm. Because when they said, oh, it's out on 360, 
you know kind of at the bottom of articles it says like you know out on ps3 and 360 below that as you said but they are actually working on something for next gen yeah so it's like oh so they're they're dishing out two and a half is two k australia yeah it's not gearbox yeah right. there is one cool thing about Borderlands I was looking forward to and that was the the mention about the zero gravity stuff yeah which looks yeah. which looks pretty cool and he plays a clap because it's on the moon oh, yeah. <laughs> is it on the moon yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, it's on the Hyperion moon. Yeah. yeah. I think it's on zero, zero gravity mass massive jumping. Yeah, never never picked him up for some reason. Yeah, it just gives me an excuse to go back to my PS3. That'd be cool. It's fine. I guess. I'm happy. Just, I just want more excuses to go to next gen. Mm. There, there, are plenty, there are plenty, mate. There no, are I know, plenty. I know, I know there are, but it's just, you know. I thought Watch Dogs was going to bigger that, AAA stuff. Really yeah. that it's, it's coming. coming. It is coming. It is it's coming. coming. Just keep telling myself that. Like, May's, ma- yeah. May, May's a massive month, which we'll go into again uh, cool. in a minute, cool. which I said. Awesome. <laughs> uh, we had a Nintendo Direct a week ago, two weeks ago. I can't remember. Don't think we covered it last time. Okay. Um, Variety of just... Super Smash Bros. characters that I don't care about. Yeah. <laughs> Where's then, Captain Falcon? And then there's more uh, where is he? Stuff and all that stuff. And... There's there's only one redeemable excuse for not having Captain Falcon announced yet. Okay. Which is if they've secretly got an F Zero game lined up and they haven't announced it yet and they're in a double whammy. <laughs> if they yeah. do, if they don't have F Zero, that would be. A... I am buying a Wii. Yeah, yeah that would be a system seller. You know, to be honest with you, for a lot of people, that. that's yeah. Oh, you know, that would be the one of the best things that they could they could do mm. would be at their their Nintendo conference that they're going to do, which isn't they're doing what they did yeah. last year, aren't they? Where they just sort of stream yeah. it. If they uh, if they do announce an F Zero game, that mm. and Zelda. Mm. I, I think Zelda's a given. I yeah. think they are yeah, going like to They can't not. One day they'll do another Zelda. You don't have to worry about they've, that. They've the worry really is that one quiet, day they might not do an is, F-Zero. Yeah. Which is That's comforting, terrifying. actually. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, the Nintendo being quiet is comforting, but the thing is, last year they did loads of Nintendo Directs and they were just like, yeah, this, 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 this. Yeah. This year they've done two in four months, which they were supposed to be doing every t- once every two weeks. So, I, I can only imagine that they're really busy like actually so. yeah you know I think they've accepted that the Wii U is just not going to pick up to the sales that they probably would like them to be mm-hmm. so I think hopefully now they'll just keep churning consoles because it is still selling consoles yeah. you know, it's not selling PS4 still in Japan so, I can't believe that so <laughs> yeah, hopefully they're all lying <laughs> so hopefully with the, with the fact that they're still shifting units slowly but surely that they'll now just kind of go right Games. Let's I sort can't wait this for Mario out. Man. Mm. Oh, Do you know? It does look I've, great, I've pre-ordered pre-ordered the one uh, on Nintendo's website where you get the Bullet Bill T-shirt mm. and Amazing. the um, the Koopa Trooper eggshell That's so cool. and the the little eggshell key ring. How much is all that? Uh, Fifty quid. Oh, they're the fishies. No, sixty. Pounds. Sorry, in my head it was a bundle with the console because I forgot you already had it. So I was yeah. like, fifty quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, link me to this now. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. Are they I think it's released pounds. the bundle then. They no. officially announced the bundle. No. Yes, oh, they announced yeah. the bundle. Yeah, they did. Yeah. 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 Keep but up, yes. mate. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> on the fucking train. Jeez. Look, it's my world. Wow. Everyone hates you. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> give, give him a free castle. He's had one. Yeah, I, I have one. I have that one. Daily allocation. Mario Kart next month. Yes, Mario Kart next Mario month. Kart next we, month. We're, we're going to be doing a thing, which will be fun. Doing a thing. Doing a and thing. then we're going to play some Mario Kart. Yeah. 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 We're going to have a massive four man orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mario, <laughs> Mario Kart. Mario Kart. I can't wait. Do you know, I just, I've, I've avoided so much about the game now yeah. um, that. I just, I just can't wait to just put it in and actually be blind, like mm. blind play the game. I just, you know, it's Mario Kart. You know, it's going to be good because I don't think there is actually any Mario Kart games mm. that aren't mm. at least very good. Mm. Mm. I was sold when I saw that they uh, they remade Movie Farm. Shh. <laughs> oh, you know it now. You can't unknow it. The best track is back. <laughs> oh, no. Movie you can't Farm. Unknow it. Moving on. Oh. Oh. oh, yes. I got one. I got one. High fives. Oh. High five, the, five, five. Am I, am I the only decent person on this five, podcast? Five, five, five. I like it. I like it. Five, five. No, get, get away from oh, it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Smash Brothers is still coming as well. So yeah. and do you know what I love about Smash Brothers is I love the fact that the 3DS version and the Wii U version are completely different. Mm-hmm. Yes, and coming out at different 3DS. times. I, I can warrant buying both. It's such a good idea to like have uh, two different system versions of a similar game, um, each with a different type of gameplay style. Mm. It's going to be great if they make use of having two screens and actually have 
two levels where you can jump through both screens or somehow when you're on the bottom screen interact like it's, it's going to yeah, be it's, like, it's going to be easy. very cool that's all speculation by the way that isn't actually something that's happening I have just said I hope that's what happens <laughs> just before somebody then goes yeah you said podcast number 16 and then the jump between screens and it didn't happen. I want my money back, Oliver. Jeez, that's really unpleasant. <laughs> that's your son. What? Jesus. Like that. He's at least a semi turned lover. Full name. No, seriously. <laughs> Stop bringing Ollie's son into this. <laughs> the first time I've ever mentioned him, ever. To be fair, yeah, that is true. Yeah, it's true, true. Alright, a uh, ton, anyway. ton of Sony news now. Okay. Sweet. It's so PS4 has sold 7 million units as of the 6th of April. Good job. Cool. So it has smashed their forecast by 2 million. That wow. was at the end of March that so they wanted 5 million sold. They've sold 7. And Microsoft good. still haven't announced their Xbox One figures. The, la- the last we heard was they around a similar, similar time as... PS4, I think they announced it was like three or four. That was last year, though, wasn't it? No, it was around no, the time PS4. They shipped a total of something, I think it's like 3.9. They, that was million. shipped, mm. it's not, Ship, not, not yeah. sold. Not sold. Yeah. Right. Shipped just under 4 million but, last time they announced anything. You know, I, right. I can only imagine that either their silence means that Titanfall didn't sell them as much as expected, mm. or they're just not released them yet. So we'll yeah, they're just not sold. What so it happens. Um, hmm. Uh, PlayStation 4 update 1.70 has been detailed, which is going to be a massive update. Yes. Um, Sony seems to have taken the lead of Microsoft, who have Microsoft has, to be fair to them, uh, actually uh, delivered quite a lot of bucket load of promises that were promised some time ago at E3. Yeah, the, um, the major one they did for the Xbox was actually giving you access to your hard drive, <laughs> which oh. you think would be like a get given standard. You know, yeah, 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 but. You know, the, it's the one thing that I have kind of admired Microsoft for is the fact that you know they they backtracked a lot before the release and then kind of went okay, so here's the console, and then they kind of almost said, "Tell us what you think," didn't they? Really? Mm. Yeah. And then people told them what they think, and they went, "Okay, we'll take that on board." Mm-hmm. And mm. then a month later, you got an update, and they were like, "How's that?" And you're like, mm. "Better." Mm. Here's what else I think. Okay, mm. next month update. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, they're they're doing really well. I like actually they keep updating the Blu-ray player. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's quite cool. And I still yeah. think the quality of the Blu-ray player in the Xbox One is still better than the PS4. Yeah, mm. I really like the Xbox One. I just like the whole the whole experience of it. Really, mm. I still love that controller as well. I think oh. I actually. I don't know. Don't say I it. might slightly prefer it. Oh, come on. Get out on. Look, for the PS4 one. Jesus Christ, I'm going to go and hold right. out. I'm going to hold it. Is that controller. your one or is that my one? That's my one. Okay. I'm going to hold it right now. Come on. <laughs> the day one edition. It's a CAC version of the 360 oh, controller. No, really it's so much really better than the 360 oh, You don't even know what the PS4 it's controller lovely. is. I do. It's I lovely. felt it. It's I felt lovely. it with my own hands. I felt it once. I felt it once. <laughs> I felt it once. The thing is, oh, the, Matt was going on about give how it to me. Matt was going on about how he didn't like it, and then when he came over to try the Xbox One out, he's like, "Oh, it's better than I remember, actually." Yeah, like, better than I remember. It, it's not right. Right. It's better than last August. August. There are it's only lovely. there, there, are, there are only slight. It's, it's the little differences, like the like the um the, the curves of the of the triggers. They're completely different. If you if you actually go back to the 360 controllers, they kind of slope down and they don't click. Like, yeah, and they don't click and they don't vibrate. Yeah, but the rum- yeah, that's what I hate. I love the analog. You hate that? The rumbling lovely, takes me out of whatever game I'm playing. Can you turn it off? It's lovely. It's lovely. It's, lovely. it's, it's just lovely. It's just, just lovely. lovely. Now. But yeah, when I played Forza, uh, the new Forza, first of all with that, um, yeah. the first thing I played on, on Xbox One in August last year and went slightly off the tarmac okay. yeah. and it, it literally it took me out of the game completely. I was just, it was vibrating yeah, in my that. fingers. It's like, it like the first time you ever get the rumble pack with gold knot. Exactly, it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing was just yeah. like... Yeah, it was, it was just like a <laughs> motor. It was like an imperfect technology, yeah. It was yeah. Just, yeah. Like, I think, and I think, I think, I think the sure thing that sometimes it's more subdued, but... Yeah. Um, the thing they did really well with the, the new controller was, you know, basically all they had to do was... Thanks just so, ever you. so slightly adapt the 360 controller because the 360 controller is st- <laughs> oh god offensive <laughs> the 360 controller is still you know for the previous generation it's the best controller yeah well, because yeah. it fits in your hand still perfectly it's the best controller ever made. and i think the xbox one controller is a refinement on 
on the 360 controller okay. in a mm. sense that it's not you are so big and bulky it's yeah. now slightly closer and they got together. rid of the yeah. chunky yeah. battery yeah. pack on the back yeah yeah that's so that's for me nice was the fun. best thing mm. but the ps4 controller is miles ahead of the dualshock 3 it's oh, oh yeah yeah, yeah. in terms of no, the playstation no, experience i hate the dualshock 3 i hate all playstation controllers mm. apart from 4 yeah I just the the fingers, fingers, control control is fingers just oh, ache. Okay. Anyway, did, did anyone call a tangent? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, um, tangent. <laughs> tangent. Uh, of update 1.70 will bring the preload feature that was massively prominent at E3 last year, um, which means that, uh, like Steam, you can buy a game ahead of time, and yeah. when the game is released, you can you just, play it straight away. So you've already downloaded it, you can't yeah, play it, it's gone. locked, and then... On yep. release day, you go straight away. Yep, straight that away. Is, it's awesome. Which is really cool. Which oh, will yeah. then probably roll out the whole thing where you can play games instantly. I think okay. may time with that, or maybe a, a be a later feature. Right. Cool. Um, okay. There's still no date for this update, um, which also includes the HDCP block, which will enable people who like to capture things with their capture cards or whatever that can still can now work with the PS4. Yeah, which is why I end up getting trials on Xbox One so I could capture stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> But oh, the, the slightly lower resolution. The, yeah, <laughs> like it matters. Um, like I care. They like also they have. Uh, they also have share the factory. Boys. The fanboys care. Mm. Uh, sorry, sorry about. They also that. have share factory, which is their Sony's own version of upgrade, upload studio. But it does seem to. Uh, well, I'm basing it on people who've actually used it. They say it's a lot easier to use than upload studio. So cool. we'll see what that's like. And the last feature is that you can. Uh, your video content you can take onto a USB stick and use as you wish. Oh, hmm. sweet. So yeah, that's that. That's, um, all sounds really good. Mm. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's all really encouraging stuff. Um, keeping on with the Sony theme, um, I'm not entirely sure, this will probably go onto a massive tangent with this as well, but um, Sony have sold all of its Square Enix shares. I don't know if any of you knew that they still had Square Enix no, shares or if they had them at all. Um, but oh, they supposed to make sense from back in the day. Final Fantasy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, they've completely gone. They've yeah, they've sold all their shares worth oh. twenty eight million pounds. Wow. Well, since um, like Square started releasing multi console, anyway, it's like what's the mm. point? In... They probably just saw it not really as a great investment. Not no, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that, that was that was my question. You know, do you think that just Sony just thought, yeah, okay, I don't think Square Enix are the powerhouse that they used well, to be. When they bought when they bought the shares originally, it was probably so they had a controlling, like. Yeah, majority or like yeah. a good chunk like of it FF7 so, and FF8 yeah exactly that. so they could be like these are now exclusives and we've secured these as exclusives because we you know we're a major sh shareholder so we get a say in what happens so yeah. mm -hmm. that's what you know and it's it's probably just a case of well now they're now they're not a huge majority they've mm. got a certain amount they can't decide that they're multi-platform they just think well actually 28 million well we can have 28 million back mm. and we're going to still get the games because Square Enix are obviously going to release it on our consoles mm. I'll tell you, so why it, not have 28 million rather than just going oh we've got 28 million in shares of a company that will more likely go down than up yeah well, no, they, no, they, it, overall it's that you know it's not like sony's going down and go oh we might make 30 million rather than the 28 yeah <laughs> they won't care it's much more of a worry that we could go down to zero yeah mm. i think probably so. what it was is they just played lightning returns and then went you know what i'm out <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough <laughs> that's fair enough um, I, I still think Square Square are on the up though because uh, I don't know if you saw this the um, CEO owner I can't remember uh, he said that um, in, in an interview with the, with the Japanese publication that uh, the translation was pretty much around the kind of thing of that uh, basically um, we're looking at basically going back to Square One um, you know we, we Square One oh, oh! We, uh, you know, we know we've made mistakes, or you know, this is all. Uh, this, you know, I'm not taking this from anything. I think this is, think this is pretty much what he said. You know, like based along the lines of that, he he realizes their mistakes and they will Lost start way, going yeah. for yeah, to completely, especially with the Final Fantasy series. So they're going to start listening to people and actually, you know, base their games on what people actually want. So they're doing the same with Hitman as well, aren't yeah. they? But yeah, the they, they've got proven, to a point now. Sorry, just super yeah, yeah. quickly, where they can go. They could probably go back to like a really like basic RPG style, and it would be like you know, fresh retro and fresh again or something. Mm. You know, so they can get away with it. It's a bit more respect, and that is what I love. <laughs> yeah. That's, I love turn-based RPGs. Are, so yeah, do yeah, it. yeah, absolutely. Mm. But they have proven with um, 
Deus Ex and all these other things that they can still put together mm. a really, really quality game. Mm. Mm. Well, I mean, yeah, still... they, they can publish it anyway. Well, they can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just put money at one. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're. I, I don't know. I still have a lot of faith in in the company because, you know, I really like. You know, there's only one Final Fantasy game, well, two that I don't really like, and that's Lightning Returns, which is just very average, and and Ten Two, which is just no, very meh. Don't like Ten Two. Um, you know, it's it's a bit of an insult to gamers everywhere, really. Ten Two, but um, <laughs> that's a but, broad statement. There. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? It's, it's an insult to people yeah, that just play enjoy it. playing yeah. that type of game because it it's is actually dull. very good and then it's an insult when they were like we're trying to appeal to female gamers so it's all about dressing up because that's what girls do girls <laughs> only play dress up um, <laughs> they do do they? <laughs> um, so you know it was just a bit I just oh, tend to was a bit of an insult I just think to gamers all round um, but every Final Fantasy oh. game other than those two I have never had much of a problem with I've really mm. enjoyed them I enjoy that they're all different and varied and mm. you know I like the fact that the battle system from 7 and 8 is fairly similar even in 9 is fairly similar and then with yeah. 10 they just kind of went you know let's shake it all up a bit let's change it around well, a little bit 10 wasn't a million miles away although no. you still had like you could change out characters and things yeah. like that yeah. So basically, Square Enix aren't making as much money as they'd like, so they've decided to take the most sensible tactic of uh, making games that people want. So well, they I mean, they've them. got mm. you know, as, as Ollie says, they've got some great properties, and you know, and there will be a new Deus Ex, there is a new Hitman coming, there's a new Tomb Raider coming, and and they will continue to try. Well, they have got Kingdom Hearts, and they've got yeah. Final Fantasy. Fantasy. So you know, I, yeah, so the, the I better, we've said it so cool. many times, so many times. <laughs> All they need to do, HD Classic. Seven, eight, nine, uh, yeah, on a disc. Awesome. There you well, go. There's your millions. Possibly. In the millions. Oh, I've got a little, little theory. Got a little theory. Got a little theory. Maybe now Sony have sold their shares, they can. Ah, yeah, they've got the funding for it. Possibly. Mm. I don't yeah, know. Even if it's just make there's, seven. There's clearly just a home. Seven. Just make yeah. seven. Like, no, they can do it cross-platform, though. So they not only get all the people who mm. would have bought it on a Sony platform yeah. and possibly couldn't release it on a Microsoft platform before. True. Now they can put it on a Microsoft platform. Mm. Even if it's on 360 okay, PS3. Okay, just for cheaper. Seven, eight, nine on a disc. Seven. I think seven, eight, and nine. You can have more than just seven. I want seven as many times as you can fit it on a disc. <laughs> and go. then I'll play every iteration <laughs> of it. But seriously, I think, yeah, seven, eight, and nine, HD classic disc. Sweet. Get it done. Mm. PS3 top tip there scary <laughs> get yeah. on it get it done PS- you don't PS3. want to die as a get it done get it done get it done mate just go in like get it done just go into their board is it like, done yet get it done get it done PS3 360 <laughs> slap it on PS4 <laughs> I've only been on PS4 super HD it just you know hyper HD I can't open this anymore I think it's super HD. HD. HD hyper HD EX plus 4K, uh, 4K. Jesus Christ Right. So, okay. Anyway, that wasn't too much of a tangent. We didn't no, know. no, no, it's cool, it's cool. Uh, right, well, the rest of it is just uh, mm. release news, so we'll release. blast through Come. that. Come. Uh, H1Z1, or H1Z1, is a new zombie MMO being made by SOE, oh, Sony nothing about this. Online Entertainment. Nothing. Um, yeah, it's just going to be like another yeah. DayZ thing, I believe. DayZ, but, but probably more polished. Not in a bad way. I'm just saying, you know, as in a studio. So DayZ day, day is thing. Yeah. Zed. Just so I'm just going to put that out there. Z. Z. J Z. J Z. Day Z. World War Z. Jesus. We're well, not American. World War Z. It could be days. It's got a good point. Day Z. Days. Daisy. Yeah. Daisy. Daisy. Left yeah. for Z. Left for Z. <laughs> Oh, what? Just made, just made it's not making any sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? The drugs have gone to him. Yeah. <laughs> drugs and booze. He's got <laughs> some London <laughs> pride. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink when I'm cleaning <laughs> <laughs> right uh, so that's deep, that deep in, um, Tom me and you are going to be incredibly happy about this next bit <laughs> Roller Coaster Tycoon <laughs> 4 yeah. is the oh end of 2014 as long as it's available on Mac <laughs> no it <laughs> <laughs> I don't own a PC let alone yeah. one that could it run it would you? Boot camp. Boot camp. why would I ever buy a PC exactly you could boot camp it even if you, it's the best yeah. mode world if you must insist on having Windows. But get yeah, a Mac, just use it on Mac. It'll yeah. come out on Mac it, anyway, I think. Most yeah. things yeah. are now coming out on the Mac. Yeah, yeah. It's the cool thing to have if you're a cool kid, you've got a Mac. 
Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't have them, mate. I'm fired. <laughs> Again, How many reasons do we have to have? He <laughs> okay. doesn't even own a Mac. What's I do, I do, I do actually own a Mac. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Ooh. back in the game. Oh, thank God. You're Mac in the game. <laughs> oh, oh, no, that's... Oh, that's Jesus. That's, that's, okay, why am I getting slated? Why am I getting slated? Why am I getting slated? You have. You have. You to I can't remember what it was, but you you did you did drop me. something to do with Square, wasn't it? Yeah, no. Square one. Yeah, that was Square one. That's good, though. That is an actual play on words. How come I get uh, asked to leave on all the puns? Yeah, everyone else just gets laughed at. He just got asked. He got left. Oh, right. oh, that's good. Oh, all right, well, you keep doing the podcast without me tonight. Okay, See cool. you later. <laughs> oh, no, you're so, not uh, We didn't say that earlier. <laughs> hey, this is mine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Um, Outlast Whistleblower DLC is out in May. Do you know what? I, actually, I actually need to just play the game apparently mm. it's going to be double the scares double double scary I don't want double, double scary. the scares double I don't want double scary or double scare I don't you're want a fucking pussy mate it was nothing it was nothing it was, this is you you look like I told you the first one to fucking complete it alright at least I did <laughs> Happy boy, you got ten minutes in and then no. cried himself to sleep. It's <laughs> not it at all. We I just haven't bothered to pick How it up again. Yeah, sure. Four like, hours. Like, yeah. We should yeah. do a little playthrough of it. Or something. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm yeah. off that because yeah. I, I, I actually I do want it to. The transition camera. Yeah. I do. I will just stand behind you watching knowingly. I do want to play it. If I can have an emergency pillow, me and you can be the Willy Men. Willy Men. Willy Men. The Willy Men. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I just thought, like, what are you implying here? We'll be the Willy Men. All I can think is the fact you, that we were going to have to a watch playthrough. it at night and we'll be the Willy Men. <laughs> I thought we would end up doing a playthrough and you went back just dancing the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just try and play it, seriously. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I do want to play it. I really want to play it. Mm. But the trouble is, every time I. It's, it's one of these games that because I've left it so long now that every time I go back to play it, there's always something else that's yeah, come like, out that I oh, really want to play. Instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, I, I hope... it's called Pussy Syndrome. Mm. <laughs> oh, Sly Cooper's come out. Like, well, scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Minecraft. Right? That hasn't got any monsters. I haven't played Minecraft and I definitely haven't played Sly Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> one of them's the one that I'm looking forward to playing. No, it's... Uh, um, <laughs> I hope it's... Cooking a... with Mama. <laughs> I hope it's as scary as as people say it is because it's like it's like any horror film. You know, you go in you go into a horror film, and if if I haven't browned my pants, I don't feel like I've had my money's worth. It is scary. He might say it's not scary. It is scary. Well, I found Slender scary. Is it is it scarier than Slender? I think it's different than Slender. Yeah, yeah it's different. Uh, Slender's. I'm not saying it's be... more scary than Slender because I don't think it is Cause, more scary. Because Slen- 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 Slender's unpredictable. Outlast is predictable. Oh, I see. So. I think Outlast's got a lot of jump scares in it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very it's, 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 a, it's a similar sort of, in the sense that uh, the fear doesn't really come from um, necessarily anything that's happening. It's more the fact that you Yeah, exactly. You're, so yeah. you turn around, you see someone seeing you, you've got mm. to run and hide or disappear or something. Oh, so see. it's a similar in that way. Okay. But it's... Just got so kind of like amnesia then, with, with the whole <laughs> run. Yeah, it's very much like, yeah. oh, you've been seen, you've got to run. Okay. Whereas... But at least in 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 Outlast, you you can run and hide somewhere, and you without got a the screen going absolutely bonkers. Yeah, so you've got you've cool. got a pattern. Whereas in Slender, you can't hide. You have just got to make sure you're far enough away. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of it's pretty I unpredictable. Think, I think Slender's it? probably scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Slender's like ridiculous. You can predict, you know, like in Outlast, if you're like, oh, if someone's walking past, right? They've gone around the corner, so now I can sprint. Or whatever. Right. Okay. Whenever you get to that bit where you have to squeeze through oh yeah the you've got like, through a oh, squeezy yeah, part yeah. then you're fine because he can't grab you unless it's, uh, a, unless it's a little vent or something and they yeah, can true. pull you out yeah, okay didn't expect that oh, cool. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah. also out in May well actually we'll just go through May's releases because it's a pretty packed month as well as Outlast we've got Transistor which is probably going to be my game of the month already I can already tell uh, it's from the makers of Bastion uh, nice mm. oh yeah and we were talking about yes. ages ago that the yeah. one game that I really regret not playing on the previous generation is Bastion right really really want to play that game what's Transistor coming out on PS4 oh sweet okay I thought it might be just like a Steam game or something uh, it will come out on PC as well it's PC right. and PS4 sweet yes very looking forward to that, that looks so great. Sony's PS4 really of the art PS Plus put Bastion on it uh, 
they're not going to bring it to PS4. I would they're, be very happy if they did. They're, they're, yeah. not, they're not going to bring it to PlayStation platforms. They've had, the, PS4 think, seems to have a bit of a bigger um, link with Steam in terms of the games they release. Is that like it's just it's just because Steam basically game. when when the whole thing was came out, uh, Microsoft didn't abandon. They were they kind of just were on the back foot where they didn't predict how much indie was exploding in the public domain. Uh, whereas the Sony were like, come into bed. Come on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, yeah. all of you. Like, oh, all of you. <laughs> ah, right. So, um, you see, yeah. that's the one reason. That's game. the one reason I kind of like. I'm jealous. The well, it's not the only reason I'm jealous of PS4, but that's the one reason I like would actually love a PS4 because mm. of like things like Outlast and yeah. there's a, there's a, there's another indie game on there which I really fancy playing. Which I don't know if anyone's played. It's called um, Escape Plan. Oh yeah, that, that that was on the Vita as well. Is that, that was originally a Vita game? Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah. See, things like that are able to play, and at the moment, it's just. The Xbox One's just lacking that sort of mm. front. But mm. it'll come. Don't you hope so? It'll come. Um, so, in the month of May, we've got uh, a tight schedule. Um, in that week, it'll be like Transistor, Wolfenstein, Watch Dogs, Mario Kart 8. Jesus. Oh. Jeez. Uh. The Wii U may have to be put off a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. Probably gonna buy all of them by Watch Dogs. So I'm still expensive. like this with Watch Dogs. Hey, yes, well done. I'm kind of. <laughs> you know, I think Watch Dogs is gonna be an impossible. I think, thing we'll get it. It. I think, I think, yeah. I think oh, for me, it'll, really be, really I'll, really it'll be it'll really be out, yeah. and I'll deliberately be like, oh, Watch Dogs is out today. Oh, I'll go and have a look at it. Which, as soon as I've made that choice, that I'm gonna go out and actually just go to a game shop or uh, a supermarket and just sort of peruse the aisles yeah. knowing that a game is out that I want mm. like I did it with Infamous mm. I was like oh Infamous is out today well, I'll go and have a quick look at the games then knowing yeah. full well that I go oh there it is <laughs> have a look at the case well, I, don't, <laughs> well, I don't do it with a lot of, I don't do it with a lot of games if I, if, I, if I see a game that I'm really interested in I will play it regardless of reviews mm. um, but Watch Dogs I think for me is going to be one of those games where there's been such a massive build up that when it comes out I'm going to look at the reviews mm. and if it's like 7% I'm going to be like hmm because that's what happened with Thief. I got really excited for Thief, and then it came out, and they were like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, maybe not. And now it's been out a little while. I don't regret, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything, mm. apart from a black screen. Yeah. I think, I think it's, <laughs> it's, it's difficult with, um, with Watch Dogs, I think, because it's either going to be that, yeah, it's not going to be great, mm. and that's why they had to delay it, or it will be really good because they did the sensible thing of going, oh, yeah, we're not going to have we're not going to make launch window. We're going to delay it for like five months. Yeah, I hope that's the case. Properly. Yeah, it's like, well, you delay it for almost half a year mm. and then take a financial loss and it'll probably never sell as many copies as it would have if it was a launch title. Yeah. Well, I damn well hope it's going to be a good game then. You, yeah. must, you must plan for it to be really yeah. good. I can, only, no I can only assume it's the latter because of the fact that it's yeah. been released on both consoles. That's It makes yeah. perfect sense that that's oh, yeah. the case. It's being released on the 360 and PS3. Yeah. It? yeah. It's, it's, it's so, it, everything. so it would have been a massive, financial, one, right? it would have been a massive yeah. financial win for them just to release it and go, oh, shit, don't exactly. worry about it, not my problem. Yeah. Whereas now they've gone, we want it to be really good because we want it to be a franchise, so we'd rather take a hit now and make something that's really good. Mm. And then that'll drag people back in for the next instalment and then next one yeah yeah um so I've, I've i've got confidence that it will be really good yeah um but it is still a game where i'm gonna have because of the delays and everything i'm just gonna have to wait until there's a mm. review or two or, mm. le or at least a, a very like final build sort of preview <clears throat> at least just to go look this is really really i mean good. Aside, yeah. or, a review from, yeah. or a review copy that would be aside, great. From my, yeah. aside from <laughs> my beef with it um, I just don't think I, I'm going to have the time to it's invest. It's like 100 in... hours or something, God. isn't it? You have to do everything. What? It's going to be one of those it's investments. What? Mammoth. What really? that, man? I didn't... It's going to be one it's, of like it, an it's investment. It's a 30 man. to 40 hour story. What? what? Wow. What's those? Just mm. to, yeah, just to go through the main focus of the game. See, that's where the multiplayer it's, aspect for me kind of goes. I'm like, worried that that's going to get really repetitive. Then. Oh, I don't know. Well, GTA GTA Five it. is the same. Well, how yeah, it's, it's, how it's basically was, just it's basically yeah, that world, yeah. but you've got the ability to hack into every single AI. Oh, you know, fair enough. Mm. But how how big or how many hours? I forget uh, how many hours Assassin's Creed Black Flag I don't was. Think I put that many hours in, did I? I think twenty I, odd. I think probably. I put probably over twenty time. hours into that, doing some of the yeah. side missions. And the yeah, only reason yeah. I put it down was because other things were coming out, and I'd mm. done the main campaign. And that sort of game, as great as it is, it doesn't have the wealth of side missions no. like that. Something like Watch Dogs could have. Watch Dogs mm. could have side missions that actually have stories, whereas in I find mm. in Assassin's Creed, it's usually tell this bloke, and then afterwards, 
just a kill a random person. Mm. Yeah, it's just that over and over. Every single the Skyrim, the, co- the, the Skyrim quest came like yeah. that. They were they the game kind of pride itself like we have an infinite questing. It's like yeah, but it's just find an item thing over and kill that bloke. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. That's yeah. Why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I yeah. want my bolt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. Um, so as well as that pat month, a pat week, um, it seems to be horror month. From the 29th to the end of, of, of uh, 29th of April to the end of May, we've got Daylight. Slender is coming out on 360 and PS3. Um, and uh, obviously we have the Outlast DLC. Um, so is, that Slend- is that Slender what? the Arrival? Slender, yeah. the- Slender the Arrival. Ah, oh, right. So what, the 360? Yeah, and PS3, yeah. People are going to get frustrated with that game when it gets to the point. Has everyone played it? Mm-hmm. The arrival. No, not the arrival. I played, no. I played both. I, I played that bit when you get to the girl in the the garage depot, she just runs after you. Mm. You have to show the light. That was just. I gave up on it. I well, thought, I mean, you know, not being funny about PC and Steam in particular, but um, Sony and, and Microsoft have this kind of impossible hallmark sometimes that some developers can't aspire to in terms of quality. So I, I don't think that they will. Don't think that kind of. No. Kind of thing will be an issue for that kind of, that kind of game. Mm. Plus, plus, it's, plus, it's being published by uh, Majesco, who um, have a, on a right track record with publishing games. So I'm sure. Be cool. Cool. Mm. I'm sure it will be in good hands. Uh, yes. So that's pretty much the next month of releases. Um, you got the, the odd game here and there, like uh, Kirby. Um, Kirby really? Triple Deluxe on 3D, 3D, yes. Right. Jesus. Interesting. Yeah. You have to check that out. I well, know yeah. nothing about it, but I've just some, got some urge to uh, play a Kirby game. Play a Kirby game. <laughs> <laughs> you get, I tend to find that with Kirby. Like When Kirby's Epic Yarn came out, it was just it was pointless and a game that nobody really wanted. But there is a moment every now and then when people do kind of go, you know, I really fancy a Kirby game. Mm. Maybe now's the time. <laughs> I, need the, the uh, time. I need to get out of my 3DS, to be perfectly honest. I've got one game on it. Uh, which is Ocarina of Time. I bought it on the like oh. literally when it first came out. I've got Ocarina of Time on it. I haven't bought Luigi's Mansion. I haven't bought any of the Mario games. I love Mario Kart. I haven't brought. Haven't bought uh, the new Pokemon game. Haven't got Dude, anything on it at all. Doing? It's because I'm, I'm not a huge handheld gamer, but I find neither it am now, I. But but the, <laughs> that's not an excuse. I've got the console. I just need to get around to playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving. Mario, <laughs> Mario 3D Land. No, I have no, I have played through that. Oh, I, played through th- I have played 3D oh, Land. I don't own it. I borrowed it. Hey, I played it through. Oh, that game. Thanks to a guy who's what? A bit oh, like <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. No, I was just, I just needed to move my shoulder. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. No, I wasn't um, wincing from his oh, comment. No, oh, just, oh, yeah. <laughs> between worlds. Yeah, haven't played that. I played another world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <The> door. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Uh, cool. Um, we'll then move on to the charts of last week. Just quickly. Titanfall, number one. But that was because it was the 360 insurgents. It's right. kind of hard to grasp which one is... Do you know, the best, well. the best thing about, about Titanfall and the 360 is if people who have a 360 don't watch mass amounts about Titan, or even if they have watched mass amounts about Titanfall mm. they're obviously not experiencing the Xbox One version or the PC version mm. so if they go out and buy the 360 version they put it in if you just watch uh, gameplay of a 360 version you go well that looks alright mm-hmm. that looks really good mm. it's only when they do the comparison videos like IGN when they did mm. their comparison video like, and they go this is the 361 and instantly your eyes go really? So that looks Battlefield. incredible. Same Battlefield 4. But then the trouble is, they then go, and here's the Xbox One version, you go, eh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it looks shit. But it's only because they can just do so much more with it. Obviously, they can do so much more with it. Yeah. But in terms of the 360 experience, I think if people haven't got an Xbox One and don't want to migrate but want to play Titanfall, mm-hmm. buy it on the 360. It. Absolutely, because it still looks great. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. only looks crap when you compare it to an Xbox One, and mm-hmm. that's kind of unfair. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty yeah. unlikely you have the two screens running side by side as well. Yeah, yeah you're not, are you? Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you, yeah, hundred percent worth picking up. On I still think that G- I still think that GTA Five looks like an Xbox One, like graphically, it looks like it should have been an Xbox One release for me. It's amazing yeah, how they, they managed to squeeze that it. into a 
Last gen. But it is last gen, yeah. Last gen. Yeah. Well, so. you say that. Well, I, obviously, I had it on 360, So, but whenever I would put the disc in, my, three, my 360 makes a lot of noise anyway because it's, it's the original HDMI 360. Oh, yeah, you know, it's a beast. Mm, I've still got oh, a component. God. Wow. Not, what, not the white one. Yeah. yeah. Really? I sold my Xbox Xbox component well. one when HDMI ones came out because I had to have the HDMI one. But yeah, whenever I put GTA 5 into my 360, my th- I, I swear to Christ I can see it like shaking like, <laughs> I'm really trying to play the <laughs> game. It's so hot. The whole room is just. If you've got no heating on, you don't need it. You just turn the Xbox on for five minutes, and the whole room is just a sauna. I went yeah. through three of those things. Do you know, I've three. Never you said to yourself twice. lucky. Really? My I had red, three red in like the first twice, year. I've oh. never. I genuinely think I went. I've gone through. A, my my last one was the sixth or the seventh or something like that. God, oh, you know, I have Jesus. never had a three sixty break on me. You are Not lucky as one. Damn. Damn. Uh, Lego The Hobbit went into number two, which there is a review up from our newest contributor. Yes. Uh, so that's the latest Lego game that will be in the chart for about 300 years. <sighs> um, hmm. Is Lego the movie still in the yep. chart? number seven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, really? Is, cool. uh, is Lego, Lego superhero still Lego in Marvel was number 16. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. And we'll probably get... This only goes to 20, but I'm sure in the top 40, there's probably all the others. Yeah. So, yeah, that's I think they're there. consistently in there, aren't they? Yeah. They just float there. around at the back. Well, we might. We never drop below 20 pounds. Eventually, you can grab one of them. It's a oh, hey, oh, My, they Minecraft go away, still number six. Minecraft still, still in there. Still I number six. I like Minecraft. It's it sold like 14 million copies on the 360. That is mental. It's a, it's a great That's That's thing. an attach rate of like, I think it's like attach rate of a six. Sixth of all gamers on 360. Wow. I've, I've Jesus. Amazing. It's a very addictive game. It's a very um, therapeutic To be fair, game. I haven't actually mm. physically played it. I've only played it. it on Travis's Xbox or sat there and watched him play it. Mm. Mm. And yeah, when you. I'm just working my way through the trophy list on the yeah. PS3 and it's so good. It's just so. It's just a therapeutic game. Mm. Just, you can just lose. It's a very pure game. I'm waiting for it to be on Vita, really. Yeah. That's what I'm waiting for because I'm going to be great on Vita. Carol, I'm just going to bypass it. Cool. I, I think so I, will get, I will get I will get the PS4 version. I think. Oh, hold on! I'm not upgrading. Hold on! Yeah, the shiniest graphics. Connect Sports Rivals. Oh, really? Do you know? I really want wow. this game. In at number fourteen. Jeez. I really, really want this game. After after playing the demo at Eurogamer last year right. and seeing, as a game, yes, I think it was it was a very okay game. Mm. But the thing that I was super impressed with was the actual quality of the response rate. Mm. Of you know with with, with yeah so with yeah. with normal connect um, it's still great but it will only map your hand as like a, a flat object like that mm. and it can't tell the difference of you doing that mm. and it can't tell the difference of you doing this whereas with the Xbox One when we were st- the demo you know she says you need to obviously hold your hands out but you need to pull the clutch on the uh, on the jet ski because it will register the fact that you've got individual fingers mm. and they are forming and clutching. And yeah, it's the same like, thing. You speed, you speed up. That's your accelerator, effectively, isn't it? Yeah. So you can you can hold it in, or you can pull it right in for full acceleration. Mm. Um, but the thing that it is going to be able to do is individually mask your fingers, mm. and it is going to be able to tell when your hands are that way round and that way round. So you will be able to have more depth per field and actually be able to, you know, do like move, what Move could do, which is essentially tell how far you were in, whether the controller was round this way, whether yeah, it was that yeah. way. Like yeah. the accelerometer. But anyway. obviously, Move had the idea of just all it had to do was pick up on that ball mm. so it could tell exactly what you were doing so the fact that this new connect is going to have all these great little features to tell what you're doing mm. yeah it's, it's going to make it's what cool. they wanted original connect to be hopefully will be there's still a lot of refinement to be made with the connect i think because sometimes oh, when i watch it when i watch a dvd it's like i lean forward if it's like an exciting film i lean forward and the little handle come up i'll be like no uh, no, yeah. no 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 and then like if, if i've actually tried to use it sometimes and like the, we have to like push your hand in. It's just like, yeah, yeah. And then the, you can actually do the thing where you can when you grab the the bar on the bottom to forward and rewind the film. Do things like this. It's, just it's it doesn't not, work. It's no. It's it's, no, it's, it's one of these things for me. Yeah, yeah, but it is going to be a, it's going to be one of those continuous improvement things from Microsoft. Exactly. They they're always going to mm. have one, aren't they? My concern is just that it'll take them so long to actually get to a point where it is like basically perfect it's like really okay, usable people will be loving the controllers too much <laughs> well, yeah, but, yeah by that point it will just become 
a sort of a dive Redundant. Arc. Yeah, it'll just, it'll just be like, oh, but, motion capture? Mm. Or oh, just no point now? Mm. Or, I don't, or, or it'll just have to be... It'll have VR. To be, yeah, it'll just be VR, <laughs> and then it'll just be like... Then they'll introduce it so that you can actually walk on the spot. But they've already done mm-hmm. it. They've already done like a yeah. track thing. I think the thing so. with this with this new connect though that it's that I'm finding that I am using it for a lot um, is like the voice command. Like the voice commands. Mm. Works the so voice well. commands are yeah. so yeah. The voice was good. That's true. Yeah. So you I just talked to that it. and I programmed it to tell me that I'm cool. Oh wow! Just because I need it. <laughs> but it's um, it's like it's like real simple things like like putting on a movie because obviously I watch pretty much all my movies on my Xbox One uh, because the Blu-ray player is just a bit better. Um, so obviously I'll turn the controller off because I don't mm. want to have the controller on for an hour and a half because it just rinses the battery. So I'll turn mm. that off, and then if you do want to get up and go to the loo instead of having to go, oh right, I'll turn that on again. You know, yeah. do just, Xbox just pause. Li- yeah, just you say yeah, Xbox pause yeah. pauses mm. perfectly, pretty yeah. much ninety nine percent of the yeah. time. Yeah, using Netflix is great as well. Mm. Just not having to like push a single button. Just yeah, talk to it. select one. You it, can move between the, all the you know the panels and stuff like that, and select your program and play. And that's yeah, I'm surprised at how well that voice command system does really, work. So yeah, they, they have integrated it quite. The well. one thing I'd like it to be a little bit more refined with it is the volume. Because I was really impressed with the fact that you can actually link your Xbox with the volume. So like, see, um, Xbox volume down, mm. and it goes down. But it it goes down by like one. So you've got it on like thirty two. It's like Xbox volume down. It's like it like goes to like thirty one. You're like make no difference. Down 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 and as a just before we before we come back Xbox from the from the massive tangent that we have just gone on, there is there is an incredible video online of um, a guy who's made his gamer tag Xbox off, oh, and he just oh, deliberately saw, saw that, didn't yeah, yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, it's a guy who's made a gamer tag Xbox off, and he basically plays games like Call of Duty or Battlefield. And he'll deliberately piss people off, take out his own team. Yeah. So they go, oh, for God's sake, Xbox off. <laughs> yeah. And then, no, wait, wait. <laughs> but does it come and say like yes? Does it ask you the second question though? Surely. Yeah, so. but then you hear people go, ah, no. <laughs> He would like block them in a corner and like, like just stand against oh, them. Right. They can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Xbox off! Get out. Oh no, no! Brilliant, brilliant, very funny. Yeah, sorry, I had to. You were you were saying it was a tangent, but we can continue with with Microsoft okay. themes because um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Phil Spencer became the head of oh, yeah. Microsoft Xbox. Yeah, is this the um, this the guy that basically said that Microsoft need to go back to making um, software? Yes. So the guy's kind of gone. One of the most profitable things that Microsoft have done is the Xbox, oh. which is hardware. Oh no! Wait, no, 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 that's not that guy. No. No. Oh, okay. That's, that that, that's, a douche. That, that's the head of Microsoft now. Yeah, he's. He, I'm, no, this I'm guy's not... basically going. We need to make games. Yeah. Oh, right. mm. actually yeah. Gone, so, you know that games console we made? It'd be nice if we had Let's not release it. TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's actually release yeah. a game. So yeah. basically, Don, Don Matra came in and shit everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and Phil Spencer is now trying to clean up the operation. Um, <laughs> he, he's, um, he's a bolshy prick, but right. what you've got to give him is, I think, the benefit of the doubt because his heart's in the right place. Yeah. And uh, and I think he has the ability and will have the ability to at least try and get Microsoft back on track in terms mm. of um, you know getting their message back about games and not the hardware bullshit, not the DRM bullshit, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, right right now though, uh, and I still stand by this. Right now, as of right now, Microsoft have the better exclusives lined up. Whether they're coming out this year is irrelevant. Yeah. Next year, probably they'll all come out. But mm-hmm. right now, Sony have... And Microsoft have... <laughs> <laughs> um, you know... Well, it's true. Yeah, yeah they do. Because you know, you've got um, Quantum Break oh, at some point this year. Halo 5. Yeah, oh. Halo 5. Fable Legends... New yeah. Gears. Um, new Gears eventually. New Gears? Are they yeah. actually doing At some point. Yeah, they're doing new Supposedly. Gears. Supposedly. Really? 
Is it made by a different? Is it made by um? It's not by Epic. Black it's Epic. Sony, no, because they've yeah. bought the rights. Yeah. So have the fact, the very fact that Microsoft bought the rights to Gears of War from Epic means that oh. they will release a new game. It's, oh. it's Microsoft. They're not going to go. Now we own the rights. Keep it forever. Yeah. <laughs> never make it. But on even, the wall and just but keep even now, memory. <laughs> like on, on launch, like what what were the PS4 exclusives on launch? We had um, Knack. Knack and Killzone. 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 And uh, I heard Killzone was good though. Killzone was awesome. What was the last one? No, that was it. That was that it? Just yeah, kills that it. Was it. And then and everything, I, everything I bought was third party. Oh, <laughs> but Xbox yeah. One had uh, Forza, Dead Rising, Rise. Rise, Son of Rome, and then within a couple of weeks, what else? Titanfall. Yeah, well, so, not a couple well, of weeks. Not a couple of weeks. So yeah, so since then they've had Titanfall, yeah. Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare. Yeah, yeah. that was fun. It's really good. Yeah, it's so, so like, good. such an anticlimactic comment. Well, right. no, it says I never, like, I yeah, never played. Um, I never played Plants vs Zombies. So when I when it came out, it was um, there were very few Xbox arcade games out mm, yeah. um, because the, the, because they they were at the stage where the indie games haven't actually come in. They were releasing these games like Strider, Plants vs Zombies, mm. and I was like, I want to go for Plants vs Zombies because it was the only thing on like the main screen. And I played it, and I was like, this is actually really really good. Yeah. It actually reminded me of like um, if. If like you had a four-year-old son, and he was like, "I want to play Gears of War multiplayer," it's like you're too young for that, son. Here's Plants vs Zombies. It'd actually be a very good equal to that. Yeah, and, but, uh, but the actual online game, the the online is like only online, isn't it? It's the Garden Warfare mm. game, but the actual gameplay is basically Battlefield. It mm. is just the third person, the third person. Mm. Yeah. Oh, cool. But it's just so good. It's mm. so addictive and so well balanced that it becomes a very, very good game. So. Yeah. You and can't help but smile. Yeah, the whole way it's so much it. fun, and the fact that it's a Microsoft exclusive as well. You know, they've just got they've got a huge array of of exclusive games that are all actually very good. Mm. Mm. Like Forza is Forza. Rise great. Rise got better the second time round. Like playing it on the hardest difficulty. I think we've talked about it before. Like ramping that game up onto super difficulty mm. um, is the best way to play the game. Mm. So I'd almost say play through the game on easy just to get through it as quickly as possible, mm. and then go back into it immediately on. Centurion difficulty, and all of a sudden you're like, oh wow, this is actually a challenge now. It's right. not just well, I'll keep that magic. mind so I played it, yeah. Very good. I think, um, I think basically their philosophies have been very different so far, <coughs> Sony and Microsoft, because Sony, you know, they won everyone, well, not everyone, but they won a lot of people over with their talk and their philosophies, and they're like, yeah, we're your buddy, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, and then everything went quiet in terms of first part exclusives mm. but their indie stream has been incredibly impressive yeah mm -hmm. um so basically you know microsoft came out with all their big guns instantly sony have something well, they have a lot of stuff under their chest because all of their main they all their main first party studios haven't come up with anything yet yeah. Yeah. so yeah. it's going to be the battle of e3 i think i was about to mm. say because like sony have got some like 15 studios that are currently working on a first person title and it's just they haven't announced any of them which first the other... person title first person Jesus. Oh, no. wow. <laughs> all of them <laughs> <FPSs>. saturation uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, all all first party. but whereas microsoft have basically gone we don't have that many studios mm. we've got a lot of big name ones mm. But they've all announced what they're working on pretty yeah. much. So you, so they've basically gone. There will be a Halo game. There will be a Gears of War mm. game. There'll be another Forza one, probably made by you know the um, playground. Yeah, the people that did Horizon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. So it's like okay. So you've, and then quant, you know quantum. Break, 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 break. which won't be released until 2018 if Alan Wake is really yeah over, so. <laughs> might even come out on the next console. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it's kind of. I think they've they've both got a lot of a lot of games. Because obviously Microsoft will have others that they haven't yeah. announced as well. I mean, yeah, because this is going to kind of tra directly translates into into Phil Spencer and how he is going to deal with this. Because you know, where someone asked him, um, and again, I haven't done my research properly. I can't remember who asked him, but there's someone asked him, "What game would you most like to bring to the Xbox platform?" And he said, "I'd like Shenmue Three to be a reality." <laughs> so. That would, wow, that, that would be very speaking, welcome. He's speaking the volumes, but can he deliver? Is my basic question. Yeah. You know, because they are behind in mind share and in sales, mm. and there's you know, no fanboy can you know can alleviate. Can't that. dispute um, the fact they've yeah. shipped less units than Sony have sold. Exactly, mm. and no you know, the, the the fact is, um, I'm not biased. I will get an Xbox eventually when the time is right for me. But mm -hmm. yeah. you know, um, but 
but I, I want to see Microsoft succeed because for Microsoft to succeed, it's a healthy industry. Mm-hmm. That's exactly it, isn't it? Every, yeah. Everything is about competition. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if there was only one games console, uh, life would be extremely boring because it would just be third party games. You yeah, have yeah. no reason to make decent first party, but you know, and that's a lot of the really good first party games are there because they've got to make a game that's so good, mm-hmm. like The Last of Us, mm-hmm. that people go. Fuck me, I can't buy that on the other console. Yeah, I that's right. literally that's console. the best thing there is. Why yeah. would I have the other one? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think it's so. such a healthy competitive market, and ultimately, I think that's why the attitudes that I think we all tend to have with gaming is, you know, like you said, eventually when the time's mm-hmm. right, I'll have an Xbox One. You know, I think all of us have got at least two or three consoles. Mm. You know, whether that's a PS3, a 360, and a PS4, or mm. got or a, a mishmash a of the other. I've got, I've, got, yeah. I've got all four <laughs> generations of PlayStation. All four, like, all four generations of PlayStation under my I've, TV. I've right. had to put a Game Gear. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Nice. I've had to put the 360 upstairs because there's just the only reason the PS3 is still downstairs is because it's the only 3D player I have. Mm. So downstairs, and to be fair, if I didn't have the Skybox down there, the 360 would be there. And then if I didn't have to have, well, actually the Wii U's on the other bit. So mm. yeah, downstairs I've got yeah the Wii U, the PS4. PS3 and the Xbox One. Mm. Have you seen that? Have you seen that guy online who's got like that cabinet of every console? Uh, yeah. 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 All the slots. Yeah. That's just there's, there's always a competition. Yeah. There's always some dude going, "Yeah, I need to sell everything now." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I think Phil has his work cut out for him, but yeah. you know, however much he has a particularly nasty sometimes nasty feel about him when, when he's talking <laughs> I do think that it, it's a lot better than Don Matrick <laughs> so uh, yeah he's now running Zynga into the ground which is fun yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Zynga he does, already he doesn't the need the money yeah. no no he doesn't need the money he probably thought, he doesn't fuck Microsoft I'll just yeah. take a lot of money and then Bugger off! Well, he's like, um, he's all gone to shit. He's like, <laughs> fucking, he's like fucking Bobby Kotick, isn't he, from Activision? Like he 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 has he is literally swimming in money, yeah. like ridiculously. So he owns some like part of Coca Cola and McDonald's. Jeez, does, yeah. I've just got this image of somebody like Scrooge McDuck like diving into a pool of, a pool of dollar bills like morning dog coins yeah just blending all the notes up in the morning and just drinking it I love, I love that I love, I love that bit in Family Guy when he does that oh, like Pewish so when he just like puts $20,000 into a blender and drinks yeah. it. in about 20 minutes I'm going to piss away $20,000 amazing alright well We'll leave that there for Phil Spencer. <laughs> Sweet. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up. Um, How long I, have we been talking for? We've been talking for an hour and 37 minutes. That's a long wow, cool. time. We should, cool. Yeah, we should definitely, like... Yeah, we've well, we'll, we'll got a couple of things to, to <laughs> raise to all of you, know. If someone's you know, listening to this point, point they, the we might as well keep going. going. It, yeah. it, it is True. the mammoth cast, after we're three, all. We're three, we're three minutes less than the last cast that I did, and that wasn't the mammoth cast. No. We've got at least another three hours to go. <laughs> point. Fair enough. <laughs> Continue. I think, yeah, I mean, I, I think we could probably just raise this last bit and then maybe talk about anything else anyone wants to bring up. But sure. um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, today is the three-year anniversary of the PSN outage. Ah, <laughs> uh, got me a free copy of Little Big Planet, and I wasn't actually even registered on the Sony. Now. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> Thank what, you. That's what my boss. That's exactly what my boss said. He said he got an F Zero game free, and he wasn't even. Oh, well, like, yeah, Wipeout. Yeah, yeah, Wipeout. Yeah, yeah. Wipeout. yeah you got that's Wipeout. Wipeout. Got. Yeah, Wipeout and I was. Like yeah, because I was talking about it today, and I was like, um, I was like, you were affected by the thing a couple of years ago. He was like, yeah. He was like, um, but he was like, they didn't hack my account. He was like, because. I had no money, so they obviously weren't interested. Mm. Yeah, I hadn't was, registered at that point, literally. I, I was I was literally thinking of, oh, I might... Yeah, because I think I was, I was going to buy some Sam and Max games or something. Yeah. I was like, oh, I might buy that. And then the next day, it all went down. I was like, well, I'm not going to put any money... I'm not putting my card details on the same <laughs> network for another <laughs> two years, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a dodgy thing. I, but, I, I got hacked. Yeah. Really? Really? Oh. I, I, had to, I had to change my entire profile. Oh, Crap. What, so bank, what bank, bank details and stuff? Lost everything. Huh? And that's bank details. Sucks. Uh, I yeah, didn't actually get hacked. Did they? Yeah. Unless I'm still uh, hacked and I didn't yeah. realise. 
But they don't take they're, the they're very game. good hackers if they if I have been hacked because I haven't. Like, well, they've waited three years. They have any clue? Anything, yeah. It's like yeah. A, a sleeper cell. Wait, <laughs> yeah. waiting. They're waiting, and then one they're day waiting. They're, they're waiting until you put a tenor. Buy 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 buy. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're waiting until you put a tenor on your PSN account. <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> He's only put fifty p on there. Yes. <laughs> it's funny because when you look on when you I was looking actually looking the other day on all the IGN stuff about one of the PSN like outrage, mm. and when you look at the blogs, they all kind of start off like constructive, um, and then they all turn into fanboy <laughs> arguments. Mm. Uh, it's like you get some people it's like oh well, this is just an attack on my Playstation all the Microsoft people are just saying that, you know it's, it just turns into a war mm-hmm. but doesn't I, everything yeah exactly there are a couple of people who are like oh like you know I don't blame Sony I blame the hackers but you kind of got to blame Sony in a way surely well, yeah I mean well, they, the did, they, didn't, like, they didn't even encrypt their yeah, stuff they didn't, it was just yeah. literally like oh people's data well that'll be fine put it in a word document yeah. or it's something if someone went your bank account and you couldn't pay your mortgage on time you're not going to be like those goddamn hackers I'm going to go after them you'd be like Nat West you bastard <laughs> <laughs> most of the time it's when like, they do things like this it's just to prove that there's something wrong it's not like mm. they're actually going to like necessarily yeah, sell I don't the think data they, yeah because like, I don't think they actually did anything like, with the data they just no, literally broke in it's just we're like we've got every bit of detail that's that right we could have I think it. that's why it went on for so, so long because they were just like we've got it we're holding it we're not going to do anything with it we're just going to keep it back and we're going to let you try and get it back and, and obviously yeah. they couldn't for such a amount of time that they I, just look ridiculous you know obviously it's a horrible thing but I quite like that because it's like <laughs> sort out Make it some more well, secure. Well, I mean, mm. ar- ar- yeah. arguably, uh, it kicked their ass into yeah, gear. Yeah. And, and Sony haven't looked back since. Mm. I mean, you could argue that that was the turning point. Yeah, that basically set in motion Definitely. stuff like PlayStation Plus and stuff, though, yeah. didn't it? Mm. It was really yeah. a case of, right, we've given away games for free, and people really liked that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Why don't we make them, them pay for that, us to give them away <laughs> yeah. for free? Yeah, because I remember getting... Because I bought a PS3 the November or so before... Because it didn't happen at yeah, was, yeah, this, yeah, and um, so obviously then I qualified for the for the free games, but I got my free version of PS Plus when I first got it, mm. and I didn't see any point in having PS Plus because it gives you like the odd discount downloads. Wasn't interested in download games at that time, mm. and you get discounts on like wallpapers. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, like it, you had to pay things. to get discounts, so unless you bought everything that was discounted, so you didn't. Why actually get would I pay for PS Plus? But then, as yeah. soon as they started giving away free it's games, exactly jump on that. And yeah. Say, yeah, I was yeah. day one. Day one. See, and I was just like, you know, preaching to the choir, day going, one. "Hey, look, day one. <laughs> hey, why, didn't you, Come why didn't you on. give yeah. them money Get into so that you could not that. have as much money? I just hope that Microsoft, being like with, with the Xbox One, they've put so much like manpower into. Going on is it the extra. tripods? Is it the tripods? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just. I hope with the. Um, I hope with the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> For what anyone that, that anyone going anyone can't hear this, there's like a, a vibrating noise. It's the brown noise. It's the brown note. It suddenly it's stops. Noise. And then it starts up again. It's um. It's a little bit disconcerting. It is the brown note. Yeah. I have to leave now. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I thought it was it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, what I was going to say okay. is, um, with the with the Xbox One, is like I hope they've actually dedicated enough manpower to their security within all their bank details and everything on the website, as they have with all the stuff for the upload studio and the swearing. <laughs> yeah. Because if they do, it should be pretty goddamn secure. Because it's like you see one bad thing online, you're like, Haha, that was a good game. Like I went back to work, it's like you get an email, it's like you've been banned for twenty four hours for swearing. It's like. <laughs> so Jesus, I was in like within twenty four hours. If they're that efficient with their security, <laughs> shouldn't have any problems. <laughs> like I've been banned for swearing. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I think it was a turning point. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that whole giving away free games each month was mm. a complete winner. Uh, it just yeah. winner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it then. Sweet. Uh, that has been. Mammoth cast. Mammoth cast. Was oh, Mammoth cast number one? The hot cast number sixteen. Cast. We'll try and we'll, 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 we'll try and get one more person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? Either add one person each time. We'll get people on Skype on different yeah. machines behind. So the the next next time we'll we'll get someone else involved. So that'll be six of us, and then we'll do a, a ha- Mammoth cast three where we'll get the entirety of HUD. 
Right. In a room around yeah. a table. Yeah. <laughs> the camera will have to be like 20 miles away. No, the camera will be in the middle, but just do like, zo- like crash panoramic. So. <laughs> what we'll, do is we'll, just, we'll, do a, we'll do a Paranormal Activity 3. We'll just attach it to a fan and the camera will just go... Oh, I thought you meant yeah. just film a turd. <laughs> or... Paranormal Activity 3 was... Brilliant! Wait, every, no. Okay, the one with the the one with the teenage girl who like they used all the the Xbox gear. That's not really No, that was four. That oh, was awful. Thank fuck! Oh god! No, four no, was no, it awful. Goes, it goes good, bad, good, bad. I haven't seen the last. The four, it was actually the really good. Was, the uh, fourth one was yeah. But it's not five, five, so that's why. No, they should. They what they should have called that one is Mega just a paranormal the activity Mammoth of the month. Juan, because <laughs> it basically was just Latin America. What are we even talking What's about? This? Now? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. This is, no, <laughs> the Mammoth car just gone on such a tangent. <laughs> We've gone into normal conversation as if you're not there. Yeah. So. There's no one watching anymore. No one is watching us anymore. They got bored an hour ago. Oh, of course they did. Of course they did. Yeah, yeah. Shit. The only people watching this is us watching it back. I think we're like egotistical, self-centered wankers watching it back, listening to how funny we are. Awesome. Well, I feel bad now. You made me feel bad in myself. You better when you watch this. Is your lazy foot? Is it done yet? Your lazy foot. It's okay, little buddy. <laughs> Christ. Right. Wow. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's round this thing off. Don't talk about Christ. In the Jesus usual way. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, On that note, have, have, right. have a wonderful Easter. Facebook.com mm. forward slash games hub. Twitter.com forward slash games hub. Pinterest.com forward slash games hub. YouTube.com forward slash Games Hub. Twitch.tv forward slash Games Hub. Games Hub. Oh, are we on Google Plus or Google Yeah, but it's not showing on the list. You got that exactly in the right order as well. Yes. On the title card. Yes. We are on Google Plus forward slash Plus Games Hub because every Google Plus account has to have a plus in front of it. <laughs> Marketing genius. Do you know, just before we absolutely disappear, Google Plus should have come out. I'm sure I said this in the last podcast, actually, but Google Plus should have come out now and it might have actually been worthwhile. Yeah. 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 Very good point. You said that in the last podcast. Yeah, you did. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, it's only a week ago. So, Happy Easter. Not, yes, not, yes. Not, enjoy every oh, chocolatey wait, covered wait, moment. Wait, It's not only has it been an absolute wait. mess. Gameside.net. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Jesus. Pretend, the list. pretend he said nothing. Pretend he said nothing. No, it's it's not only really just been an absolute mess. Kev's, you know, just oh, cribbles, pissing everywhere. Just ignoring me. Cripple. Shut up. I'd want to lung the bride that's lasted the whole podcast. Yeah, 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 this oh, yeah. descended into absolute Jeez. madness. Uh, yeah, gameshub.net, go on there, please. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Mammothcast 1, Hubcast 16, thank you for listening. Here's been Rich. Goodbye. Here's been Tom. Goodbye. I've not got off appendages. Here's. That's Ollie. Hey, bye. And this is. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Psycho Peepers. <laughs> wow. Love be Matt, thank you for listening. Skadoosh. I like men. Psycho peepers. Christ is coming. Eat an egg. At some point, I will rape you. Eventually, we're just going to fade this podcast to black. Wow.